everybody. Jolene London! <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. Uh, I'm here tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking about the scandal craziness going on in the Vanderpump Rules. It is taking over my brain. It is taking over every part of my soul. Uh, I am here with uh, my friend who I'm going to introduce you to shortly. But first, remember to smash that like. I think we already have like 30 some likes. So you guys are killing it. But let's set a goal for 200 likes. Let's try to get there. Mods, if you don't mind keeping me up to date on the like count, that would be amazing. So if you want to support the channel, like, subscribe. If you want to support further, send a super chat while we're live and we will read your awesome comment. But we definitely want to hear from you guys uh, in the chat. So sound off. Let us know your opinion. Also remember that this is all alleged. We don't know. None of these people. Well, I kind of do. Like, I feel like they're my best friends and I did meet them once, but it felt like a longer for me um so nothing we say is don't sue us that's basically what we're saying just don't sue us okay so without further ado i would want to uh introduce you to my friend uh Lori roggenkamp and she is a hilarious comedian and podcaster she has the bloody podcast and she does a whole bunch of other stuff uh that she can tell you about and she's also a well actually Lori, you are when I started doing my original podcast, Married to Bravo, it was based on the fact that I made my husband, Chell, who you know, um, yes. watch uh, Bravo. So it was Married yeah. to Bravo, and then he would have to recap episodes. And then he got out of it. You know, we did that for a while, and then he was like, bye. <laughs> and you now are in a similar situation yes. because you were brought into that uh, of because of your relationship, right? Yes, my fiance, she is super into Bravo, anything Bravo, anything really where it's a bunch of white people talking, she will, <laughs> she loves, <laughs> she loves, the, she, <laughs> she's rewatching the city and the hill. She actually literally the other day, she was a little high, but we were talking and she started crying and she goes, I just finished the hills and I don't know, or the city and I don't know what I'm going to watch now. And I was like, I don't know, made in Chelsea. And she goes, Oh my God, you know what I mean? And like, she it was like the mo like, she's like, I feel seen. It was like that moment where she realized she loved me all over again. And I was like, Oh, okay. All right. I'm glad I helped you with that. <laughs> like, <laughs> that so, does mean a lot. That's yeah. why you're fiance because you know her. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So I've been pulled in. You know, I would watch the, I feel like I am a Bravo fan the way I'm like a sports fan where it's like, Watching a full episode was hard, but I loved watching the clips. And so, mm -hmm. but then I found myself asking Star, my fiance, too many questions. And she's like, just watch an episode with me. So, <laughs> I and just, then you did. And yeah. Then and then I did. did. So, yeah. <laughs> I love it. And I have been on um, Lori's podcast uh, as well, the bloody podcast. And I actually did. So you and Maria, the host, you are you guys are on hiatus right now, but you've been doing that podcast for all. I was on your episode about Jen Shaw. Yes, we did like a Bravo, like a Real Housewives breakdown of all their crimes and stuff. So yeah. the podcast is mostly focuses on females in crime um, because we feel like men get too many, too much attention um Thank my motto you. is that women are terrible too so you know like let's focus yeah, and we on should that. start killing yeah. more we really yeah. should i mean you yeah. gotta take that market I back mean, i mean it's yeah, all the men. after the scandal <laughs> i'm like you know some people need to go some people need to go some, some people need to go i created like this little um on my married to bravo i don't know if you saw it my little netflix uh horror movie trailer for uh ariana possibly you know just uh, scandal yeah. jokes, jokes, you guys, but, um, it did, uh, work out perfectly. So, um, thank you, Indiana girl Jules for the first super chat of the live. Appreciate you so much. Uh, loving all your coverage on this. It's all I've been doing this weekend. Jules same. And I think Lori same too, because we're commenting on each other's stuff on Instagram, uh, yes. TikTok and Instagram investigating the tea just keeps coming. I feel like these people are my real friends, right? Yes. This is crazy. And, it's and what was it's so, crazy. Yeah. And what was so devastating is I, I am two for two now because again, I'm sort of new to this 
where last last year I was like randomly was like you know I think even though I feel like Schwartz and Katie may bicker I feel like they have a really solid relationship and a week later <laughs> <laughs> why okay Lori what did you think about Schwartz and Katie was solid I don't you know when like you know when like there's a couple that they won't divorce and they like argue all the time and you're just like mm-hmm. hey, they just sex is great like maybe they're just like there's something <laughs> keeping them there you know and so i'm like you know what it works for them like i'm not gonna judge it anymore and then a week later yep. i was like and then the same thing happened here where i was like you know i don't i don't get it but you know what they've been together for like over eight years ariana yeah. and and sandoval are obviously gonna make it work and then literally like within no time it was like you're writing it in your journal Lori you're I like know. listen if Scandoval I mean at the time Sandoval and Ariana they're in it for the long haul they've been 10 years they got it and then the next day this yeah. comes out so this all came out so short recap for those of you joining who might be like what the hell are they talking about short recap Vanderpump Rules show Lori and I both love you guys probably love it too. Begrudgingly, we all love Vanderpump Rules. It's had its seasons that weren't so great. Uh, this season now is really picking up. So yeah. um, one of the main couples, like Lori said, uh, being Ariana and Tom, have been um, coupled, but not, you know, she's never wanted marriage. And he's always like, I- I'm fine with that. I'm totally cool. I'm good with that. I'm good. And you can always tell when someone's not good with something because they overemphasize how good they are with it. Yes, you notice yes. that about him? Yes. Oh my goodness. So we found out Friday that Mr. I'm, I'm so cool. I'm so good with this. Uh, cheated and has been cheating on Ariana allegedly, um, with Raquel who was engaged to James Kennedy who broke off their engagement right before Tom and Katie. And allegedly it's been happening for like seven months since last July or August. Yeah. Okay. And, um, allegedly has happened in the home that Tom Sandoval shares with Ariana. They bought together. No, ma'am. That's no. (laughs) And Lori, while allegedly she's been sleeping, Ariana. Oh my. I mean, like this is literally what Jax and Kristen did to him. Like, right. Yeah. Several, several years ago. I mean, I think when, when the, when the show first started, you find out that Jackson Kristen, his, his former girlfriend had sex while he was sleeping on the, on the couch. Yeah. And she like, like sucked him and then yeah. he lickied her and they just yeah. did orals and stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All the fun stuff. And it was, and it was just like, why would you do that to your girlfriend of over, you know, almost over a decade, almost a decade. Like that to yeah. me is just like, I, I, I told star and I, we just were like, if you don't just break up with me, like, just do it. Just do it. I'm not, trust me. I'm not going to be. <laughs> <laughs> and know. Mata just goes in with the super chat. Uh, the comedian Anne in the chat <laughs> says, watch out. Lori's relationship approval <laughs> equals relationship kiss of death. <laughs> oh, trust me. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anne. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, it, it is. It harkens back to and that's what made some people when the news first came out think, is this a ploy for ratings for the season? Because it's almost like full circle. We're going back, like you were saying, Laurie, to that first season where um, Sandoval got cheated on um, by Kristen yeah. and she cheated with Jax while he was sleeping. And now we're hearing very similar details to him doing this to Ariana. Yeah. And, and we're just like, huh? And with Raquel, like that to me is so, I mean, <sighs> who knew the nose job actually worked? That's what I, <laughs> I think she's been worse since I've, I got better after my nose job. She's gotten worse. I'll tell you. She has not <laughs> yeah. improved. Okay. Let's, how about this? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm saying something to myself. Go ahead, Lori. Re- uh, continue oh. what you were saying. I was just like, yeah, he, so come to find out he has been since july he has been that him and raquel have been sexting each other and then meeting up for sex and and now i've even seen reports where it's like this is a full-blown relationship like they want to pursue this as a relationship and i'm just like why like what does she what 
you know, you have, you built a life with this woman. Why would you throw it all away for somebody who breaks down at multiple dates about her future? Like she has, (laughs) she has nothing (laughs) planned. She's going nowhere right now. She right now is a beauty, (laughs) retired beauty queen. Okay. And speaking of nose job, Laura, I had to bring this up. So shout out to, uh, at Bravo fiance, but this is such a good point. Bravo fiance, uh, put this out, I think on Twitter, Instagram, how do you explain to a non pump watcher that Raquel hooked up with the ex-husband and current nine year boyfriend of two women who sold pictures of their own feet so that she could get her nose fixed for the second time when she got a botched nose job? Yeah. How do you? I mean, it's, I don't know that that to me is it's almost as worse as when uh, George Lopez's ex-wife gave him a kidney and then (gasps) he divorced her like that to me. is just like it's almost like that. Like it's like you they sold their they were willing to debase themselves to get you to get a to fix your nose job. And you exactly you do this to them. I mean, and you it's so gross. Um, And. Like you said, we have so much more that I'm going to share that has come out yeah. through this weekend since Friday. Um, that pretty mess. Exactly right. So we did also find out through this that Raquel's name is actually Rachel. Did you hear about that, Lori? Yes. Well, Internet I always found her yearbook. I always felt like it was. I, I always felt like it was Rachel. I felt like it was. It, I was like, it She's has a to Rachel. be Rachel. Yeah. She's a Rachel. She's, She's a yeah. Tiffany. She's not a Raquel. No. No, she's Mm-mm. not a Raquel. No, no Raquel has some no. like standards. You know, she Raquel has standards. She has a she has a four hundred one k. She mm-hmm. would just settle with the first nose job. That's what a Raquel would do. Yes, a Rachel. Would, yeah. Well, you know what she's, she would she would have some issues. Yeah, she would have researched her plastic surgeons. That's what a Raquel would have done. <laughs> <laughs> you're literally in Beverly Hills. You're surrounded by people who've had all the plastic surgery. You could have easily asked, what's the best nose guy? I got a nose job in Minnesota and I researched and found the best nose guy in Minnesota went to yeah. him, changed my life. So if I can find a good nose job, it's not perfect because you're never going to have a perfect nose. Uh, if I could find a good nose guy in Minnesota, she could certainly find a nose yes. guy in LA. <laughs> yes. Oh my yeah, gosh. She, now she works for Lisa Vanderpump. Like you send her yeah. an email, you know? <laughs> Lisa was almost gonna send her to Adrian Malouf's ex-husband, Paul, from he was on botched. Remember, he was one of yeah, the doctors yeah. on botched as well. Yeah. To go get it fixed. So I don't know if she did end up going to him, and that's what they saved the money for. I remember uh, nothing okay. now. What is time? What is happening since all of this? Now, um, did you see, so since this has all went down, like Lori said, uh, there are rumors that, um, or confirmed things that, uh, they are more in love than they're, than just a cheating situation. There's alleged, uh, a lightning bolt necklace, but they're both wearing. Yes. Yeah. That they wore out. And then, uh, Rachel used to go to, would go to Tom Sandoval's concerts, like, you know, and be in the front row without sometimes with Ariana and sometimes without Ariana. And she would wear the necklace many times without many Ariana. Times. Exactly right. Yeah. So they have this Tom, you can always catch him. I think I even found in this episode. So let me send this picture to myself. So it's, it's this very similar lightning bolt necklace. And I guess that lightning bolt necklace, allegedly, whatever signifies that they really love each other. And so they wear these necklaces on the sly while yeah. he's still pretending to be with Ariana and she's still pretending to be a friend to Ariana. Cause remember Ariana has been so Ariana and Sheena have been really kind to Raquel and like a big sister. And yeah. I mean, Ariana and Tom uh, just going on Instagram now and start digging. It's sick. Cause Ariana and Tom went to her little, um, my last, it was like a Barbie show, like her last pageant where she, uh, her talent, you guys, I kid you not was, she had a surfboard and she had a swimsuit and she came out like, and then she put the surfboard, not in water on a stage. And she went like, <laughs> and then picked up the surfboard and walked out. <laughs> and they were in the audience going, yeah, that's our girl. And you can hear Tom Sandy, Butt laughing, but supporting. And I'm like, you picked that over Ariana. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, that was that. That's when he knew he fell in love. Was when she was able to stand on that surfboard on top on top of a stage. You know, they're gonna tell their Deadly. kids that one day. They're gonna. <laughs> yes, <laughs> mommy. Yeah. Pre- had to pretend she had to improvise surfing on a stage yeah. when she was twenty eight years old. The last year Donald Trump ruled it okay for you to <laughs> pretend and to be judged on your beauty, and then you're ugly. She did. Then it that. was illegal. She's a then it was illegal. Hero. <laughs> then yeah. it was illegal. No women over twenty eight can be judged for beauty because there is none according to Donald Trump. Okay. Yeah. Cause that's oh, what Raquel yeah. said. She said, Donald Trump made a rule that said after 28, bitch, you're dead. Yeah. You're dead. You're dead. There's no, no beauty in, in you anymore. Don't, don't try to be pretty. Don't try no. to get judged for your beauty. Cause I have yeah. so many screenshots here. I'm just trying to find one. Okay. Let me see if well, this so, one, I think this one has this necklace. The thing, yeah, here we go. the thing that I don't understand about this is that, you know, Ariana is not like, She's not like the queen of England. It's not like Tom Sandoval had to be with her, you know, or was forced to be with her for money or, you know, I mean, I guess maybe the house or something like that. But like the fact that he, they had to carry on the secret relationship, like, you know, he's in a a loveless marriage, you know, and it, it just was like, you guys break up, like, just break up. There's no reason for it. Like, You're I, I don't exactly know. You're exactly right. I don't know about you, but I have like, sometimes like I'll have a, I have this fan. Look, I love my fiance with all my heart, but sometimes they have a fantasy that like, she'll just be like, Hey, it's not working out. And I'm like, great. I never have to date again. <laughs> like I never have to be in a relationship. <laughs> Thank you. Because you're and over 20 like, years. You, yeah, you just I'm go die. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. what women exactly. do. We just, yeah, we just go off to the farm. Um, <laughs> and so I'm just like, you know, if she broke up with me, it would I would be devastated. But if I found out that she was carrying on this relationship with somebody that they were wearing necklaces, you know, I would be like, why wouldn't you guys just pursue this relationship in a functional way? Like, yeah, he, he's almost 40. Like he, he is he, damn near 40. He's 39 yeah. and a half plus a quarter, whatever. <laughs> I don't know math, but he is he's, old. He's basically I, 40. He's basically 40. I'm 43. I can say that. He's old. Okay. Yeah. Too old for this shit. All right. Let me see if I have this um, picture here. Well, here's the picture. As you can see, this is his necklace. And then there's one for um, Raquel, Rachel. Sorry. I got to keep calling her Rachel. Rachel Energy. She has uh, one too that she wears. Okay. And that's supposed to signify that they yeah. they love, love, love each other. All right. Let me see if I can send this video to myself too of her on the surfboard because it was it was pretty iconic. I mean, oh, I didn't know she had such talent. I just had yeah. no idea. Had I known, I would have, you know, well, understood. Now what that he I was know, doing. it's like, you know, Ariana. You know, go away. You know, she go clearly. Away. She. I. I mean, we've never seen a video of Ariana trying to balance on a surfboard on top of a stage. I'm we have not. Saying, you know. We're just saying, I mean, maybe Ariana should step up her game. I'm sure she's just at home like, oh, if I only had that damn surfboard. Okay, I found it. Let me send What it do you want to here. bet uh, that Raquel was the one who said, who told Tom that the mustache was sexy? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. She was, like, she was like, you want a mustache, Rod? And she was like, okay. And like how James Kennedy said, she does not ask the D. Um and never did. He told his new girlfriend, because that's always a good thing to do, is tell your new girlfriend, oh, yeah, you never yeah. loved that other one. She didn't S my D. And Allie's like, oh, my God, this is a lot. Um, I don't want to hear about it. Uh, but I bet you she's S in the D. I bet you she's S in the D. And oh, I bet it's yeah. Tom's Yes. Yes. Anne says, do you think Rachel's neck turns green from the cheap trinket charm Sandoval gave her? Of course. Of course it does. Oh, probably. Yeah. Of course. Yes. I think he grew that mustache when he decided that he was going to pursue more than the trumpet. It was going to be a full on cover band and then with originals. And let me tell you, as a 43 year old woman and Laura, you don't have to tell your age. I know you're younger than me. Um, It would be damn near impossible for me to take my spouse seriously if he decided in his late 30s to pull out his trumpet and embarrass me in sequin pants at shows where he can barely sing and he just screams in the mic and then other people he pays have the talent. I, but Ariana is like, yeah, she's so supportive. And I would be like, child, come here, baby. Come here, come here, come here, baby. I love you so much. I love you, I love you so much. I'm protecting not only you, but me. Okay. So let's, let's go home. Let's go home. Yeah. 
Let's go. Look at the finances and let's see if this is <laughs> if this is really what we want. This is, you know, we're a team now. But Ariana, yeah. every step of the way was like, get it. Yes. So he got oh, to yeah. about this rocker fantasy. He had all of that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think this is one of the main reasons why I'm gay. I mean, it, it has a lot to do with the fact that I biologically just prefer women, but it also is mm-hmm. like, I just can't handle listening to men tell me their dumb ideas. You know, it's just like, mm-hmm. like li- having a full grown man say like, this is how I want to live my life. And it's just like, I'm going to buy a trumpet. And I'm like, no, don't. <laughs> like, like who, Please don't. Please don't. Please. Your trumpet days are, you know what? Donald Trump should make, you should be 28 is the last year that you should be allowed to get a trumpet. Like, also, <laughs> guitar, guitars. It's guitars. Yeah. Every guy I've dated ever had a guitar. Yeah. Now, did some know how to play them? Sure. Does my husband actually play the guitar very well? Yes. He was a band geek. So he actually did play like a trombone or a clarinet. What's the difference? A flute? I don't know. I don't yes. know these things. I'm not a genius. Yeah. Okay. But he played something that goes brr. And, but guess what? He's never played it for me. But he does play his guitar because he's been doing that a long time. So he's good at that. But I, there are many nights that I sit and I wish I was a lesbian because (laughs) I would have never been, you know, just brought upon like with a guitar. I feel like that's not what women do. You know, we wouldn't just pull out a guitar and go, you know, and and then you have to go, that's really good. Is that that just the G chord? Is that? Okay, great. (laughs) I, so my my fiance has a brother who's a very, actually a very good mu- musician. Okay. But he's like obsessed with it. Like he, he will come, he comes out of, when we go over to his family's house, he comes out of a room and I don't know where he put a guitar, but he has a guitar and he's playing it. And I was just like, Oh my God, this must be how straight women feel because I have no idea what it to is. do. Like when a man is coming at you playing a guitar, like, I, I mean, I just yelled fire. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> <laughs> Next, yep, you did the right thing. Next, you stop, yeah. drop, and roll or pretend to have a seizure. So everything must stop, okay? Yeah. Because you're going to, you might hear, who knows? He could be a Dave yeah. Matthews Band fan. He could be, or worse. No, I mean, what's worse yeah. than Dave Matthews Band? Uh, Creed? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> who sings with arms wide open? That's Creed. Yeah, Creed. yeah, Creed. Okay could be that guy you know you just never know when someone's when a guy is just gonna pull it out not even his wiener i would much rather get dick pics now than a guy with a guitar in my face yes i would i would love i think the guitar center should be the dmv i think you should have to prove that you can play a guitar before you can buy one i don't think you should be allowed to take one thank you (laughs) (laughs) yes okay so here is what uh, we won't have sound on this but here is what ariana the good friend ariana went with sandoval Two, the last time that Raquel could be considered uh, attractive by America, according to Donald Trump. Um, and they went to her pageant that she lost. Okay. You guys can't Ooh. hear that, can you? Or can you? No. Can you I'll hear provide it? The, okay. I'll okay. provide the commentary. Woo, woo. Yeah, go, go. Woo, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at you, girl. Oh, look at, oh, yeah. I'm here with my boyfriend, Tom, and we're celebrating you. Woo. Oh, she fell. And then she she almost up. fell. Oh, okay. <laughs> she walks away. And that is, this is Tom Sandoval's story from 39 <laughs> weeks ago. And then she did a wave like, I did a, I did a. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And Ariana showed up for that and was she, like her friend. She was like, popped her butt out like you do when you that's surf, right? Awful. That's how you surf. Yeah. That's how you serve. Mm-hmm. Well, that's how you get on and a board first. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to see her paddle out. I wanted to, I, 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 that's why she's, that's why she plays 15th. She didn't, she didn't even paddle. There is the just walk in the she, ocean. Yeah. You walk in the, you throw your boat in the ocean. You just stand, immediately stand on it. And then, uh, and then you're good. There was a moment where she legitimately f- almost falls. Like she's going down and she's like, <laughs> wait a minute. I gotta see. I gotta see that now, Lori. Okay. So it's around it's when, when she, she first yeah, comes she, out when she puts her no when she's like right towards the end when she's like balancing on the board there's a solid moment where she like Hoo! she you see you see her go like oh I'm gonna fall okay she puts okay first pop the butt but, first pop. part of surfing then so, spin so important yeah spin the board drop that gets the traction there okay. we go oh right, jaws Hit, oh, there we go right. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> <laughs> 
So in the talent, in the quote unquote talent that she gave, she failed. <laughs> She failed. So she even failed. It was standing and shaking, which is essentially sex a lot of times. <laughs> standing and shaking is just, I mean, that's how I do it. I don't I know mean, how yeah. you guys do it, but you know, you're engaged and I'm married. So we must be doing something right. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. And she failed at that part. Um, oh my gosh. So I was obviously very stalkerish looking through yeah. all her stories and Tom's stories. That's all I've been doing. I didn't go to bed last night. I don't think till 3.45 a.m. Chell had to wake up for work at 4 a.m. As I was falling asleep, his alarm clock went off. And he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm just looking at Rachel's stories and <laughs> screen grabbing them. It's like not even a big deal. Um, so, yeah. And then she was a sponsor for a bikini. I learned so much about her. Okay. And then and, and she works out. And then, you know, obviously we do the expensive Pilates with the machines because we're yes. in L.A. And this is how I brush my hair. Um, and, yeah, that that's that about that. So I learned that. Okay. Let's get into Tom Sandy Butt's apology. Have you have you seen it? Mm, yes, I've seen it. All it's right. Let's pull it up for you guys. Ridiculous. Yes. So there was an apology issued. Will you would also, you call it an apology, Lori? I would call it a a public statement really okay yeah <laughs> um did you also see that he was booed at the grove or not the grove uh in anaheim my my old uh hometown he was he was performing there and he was booed and people were yelling cheater at him yes so yeah. the night that the allegations came out of his cheating yeah he performed with arms wide open at <laughs> the anaheim what's it called uh not the Grove, but no, it's not the Grove, but it's it's like a, a performing arts center. I forgot what okay. it's called, but yeah, he he was performing there, and oh, he, it was bad. He he was not doing a good job, and yeah, anytime there was a break, people would yell "cheater" at him. So I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then, well, Lala and them advised people going to the concert to yell "Ariana." And some people did. So there was this weird, I don't know if you saw it on Instagram, there was this weird video where he was in the middle and then you have the vantage point of a person to the left of the stage um, filming and then someone to the right. And on the left of the stage, they were yelling, Ariana, Ariana. And then he took a sip of his Red Bull between arms wide open. And then he said, yeah, we love her. And then everyone online was like, oh my God, he addressed it. He said he loved her. But the other vantage point on the right of the stage, the video, someone said something like, where's Raquel or something about Raquel. And at that same time, he said, yeah, we love her. <gasps> I did not see that. Oh, my so, gosh. Who was he talking about, Laura? That's what we're trying to find out. Yeah. And we'll never know because these two people, just like star-crossed lovers, they yelled out. Ariana, a team Ariana and a team Raquel, Rachel. And he said the same. He just looked up the sweaty hair and he's like, ugh. And he said, we love her. <laughs> you guys ready to do some more Billy Joel? I mean, I don't even know <laughs> what what's, who his target audience is. I have no idea. I mean, yeah, it's, it, it's such a, it's so random. And like, I couldn't even really discern what he was singing. Like, it, it just seemed like a lot of instruments being played at once. Like, not in a good way. Just like. No, he was <laughs> screaming. He yeah. just screams into the mic. And then there's this wonderful blonde lady who can sing. Who's like, okay, let's try to harmonize. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, you're almost there. That and he was like. Ah! <laughs> He's just like <laughs> screaming. I mean, I don't even know what I'm. Um, I don't want to give him too much credit. I wish he sang like Billy Ocean or something like um, like he's like Caribbean Queen and she's like no Caribbean Queen and he's like Caribbean Queen you know and he's just like yeah. screaming it and she's like we're we're almost there yeah. Tom how much can you Venmo me now because this is embarrassing <laughs> yeah his his whole thing is like I just the singing is all about getting the sound out like you just need to get them to hear you that's all singing is I don't need to I don't need to harmonize I just need to make sure they can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about volume. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what, just, yeah, volume. You yeah, pump that baby just, up. Yeah. <laughs> we love Red Open. <laughs> <laughs> what's like, I, I like, what's a Nickelback song? I feel like he would get up there with some Nickelback, some Canadian Nickelback. Oh, yeah. It's Never like, made uh, it as a wise man. 
<laughs> Never made it as a Vanderpump bartender. Uh, 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 Restaurant Like he would, yes, that is totally what he would do. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Speaking of, so I'm going to read it for those of you who, did, who, who missed it. This is the apology. And then you guys let us know in the chat what you think. Oh God, Renee, good one. Look at this photograph. Cause I'm so old. I still get them developed. I got <laughs> cameras with film. Rachel says, what's that? You know, like, I feel like there's going to, he would totally be like, do you guys remember instant photos or the one hour photo lab? I worked there in the seventies. <laughs> Rachel says, what is that? You know, yeah. like that's yeah. still, that's the theme. Rachel it's doesn't just, know what he's talking about. Yeah. It's just a back in my day, but set to music. <laughs> <laughs> So true. Okay. All right. Here we go. You guys ready? You guys ready? I'm going to do my best standable. Okay. God, you guys, seriously. All right. Oh, hey, I fully understand and deserve your anger and disappointment toward me, but please leave Schwartz, my friends and family out of the situation. Schwartz specifically, uh, you guys only found out about this very recently and most definitely did not condone my actions. So far, what do we think? Uh, I call bullshit. I, I feel like the whole Schwartz and Raquel thing was, was a way to throw off, you know, uh, heat from Sandoval and Raquel and, uh, and also for, you know, not to, for nobody to find out that he's living, Schwartz is living with this hairstylist now. And yeah, who is uh, this so, yeah. Joe girl? Tell me, yeah. I know you know more about it than I do, but there's a girl. It's is she yeah. the girl that's in the pictures at the concerts that's wearing a beanie and looks like she's I'm with the skater girl, a sissy you little girl. Like yeah. She looks like a little skateboarder girl or something. I yeah, I think that's her. Yeah, Star showed me a picture of her and I I believe that's her. She uh she, I think she's it, she's the the hairstylist for the show or she works in the show. She works in the show in some capacity. And These then people, she, oh yeah, God, and then so they, incestuous. So so they got they became friends. And then he did an Us Weekly article where he said that, you know, he was like, yeah, no, she, we're just really close. Like, she's just a really good friend. She's helped me with my divorce. And, you know, I have there's and he even said, I have no interest in dating anyone. I was in a mar I was married. So it'd be crazy for me to get into a serious relationship and then come to find out they're living together. Another report said they're he admitted they're living together. So that explains why when Sheena showed up in the last episode to his bachelor pad i assume in north hollywood there was a woman's razor a woman's necklace a box of woman's shoes yeah in his apartment that he just can't seem to unpack yeah because he's living with so you know i just yeah it was just crazy so he was trying to kind of sweep that under the rug and at the same time you know this storyline of Raqu raquel being super into short would never which never seemed real you know, no. I mean, she seemed as interested in him. She seemed less interested in him than she did the bar manager, <laughs> which is a Peter, yeah. which is a lot. Peter, uh, and she, yeah, and she had two full-on cry fests with that guy because just <laughs> you know, so it's just like, you know, I just, I, I, I just, it didn't seem real to me. So yeah, so far, so far, so bullshit. So so far, so bullshit. I agree. Okay, I'm looking her up. Her name's Joe Wenberg. Um. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find her here on, let's see. I'll ask, on let's see if Star can send me anything. The Instagram. Um, Cause there is an article. I did find the us weekly article, but I don't see any pictures of her, but I feel like I do have a picture of her. Um, I think I do a group shot of them. So it's almost like as if this Joe person who's dating shorts and like Lori said, he's pretending he's not dating and living with someone. Um, they were going on double dates. Uh, Rachel and Sandy Butt were going on double dates with Schwartz and Joe, the hairstylist skateboarder. Yeah. And his it's like he's 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 dating Ever Levine. He's dating, you know, he's like yeah, like a, a five below Ever Levine. She, she's cute. She's like she's yeah. got her beanies and she's she's doing the damn thing. Um yeah. I'll have to find that picture. Okay. My thing, the first thing I I did a reaction on TikTok and Instagram. Feel free to follow me and Lori on the TikTok and the um, Instagram. You're on TikTok, right, Lori? Yes. I'm on to it, it, same name. Les Allergic to Cat is my name. So, yeah. I'm on what TikTok is it? And... Les Allergic to Cat? <laughs> yeah. Because I, li I live with a cat and I'm allergic to cats. So, And you're lesbian. That is so, yeah. I love, I, you need merch. I would wear that shirt. <laughs> yeah. Les Allergic to Cat. 
It's yeah. been a, a big issue in my life. When I was a teenager and I was first trying to figure out if I was gay, that was a big deal. I was like, I'm not, I'm allergic to cats. And I feel like every lesbian I know owns a cat. So, yeah. So you were like, it's no God, this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't be. I can't be. I must be, you know, I must. I don't yeah. Know. Um, yeah. Well, uh, you know, in our day, we didn't know anything about like pan. We didn't know all the fun stuff, you know, no. like we knew by a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Well, I'm glad that now we have progressed as a society that yes. even if you are allergic to a cat, you're still a lesbian. I'm so, still you lesbian. can still be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I yeah. feel like I'm a real, uh, you know, uh, freedom fighter for that one niche group uh, <laughs> of lesbians. <laughs> you really are. You really are, Lori. You are you're the moment. You're the, you're the person. You're the Thank thing. You. Thank um, you. <laughs> when I was reacting to this on TikTok and Instagram, I was just like, okay, first of all, we're doing an apology and we're starting with, Hey, it's too cash, too cash. Hey yeah. guys, yeah. what's up? Well, what's up is your wiener in the wrong area. Okay. And then he said, I fully understand and deserve your anger. First of all, we're like Lori said, 40 years old. Okay. So the, you are, this isn't middle school, spell the words out and you got to Amber Stamber. I never know what those things are called. But that yeah. little sign thing. Am yeah, ampersand. Yeah. Ampersand. No. Yeah. It it I mean, this is supposed to be an apology where he references his business and stuff. And it's like, you need to write this in a professional way. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I would I look, I would kill for a to whom it may concern, you know. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need to we need to make this profesh. <laughs> and you know, yeah, I, I don't know. I I yeah, and now that you're saying it, this is chock full of just immaturity. And well, now that I'm saying this, okay, so we do get the comma before but, which thanks, I guess. But then he goes in and lists things and says, but please leave Schwartz, my friends and family out of the situation. Not a comma to be found. Not a separate. I don't know what any of that means. That the I can't read that. This this to this. Uh, reminds me of somebody who was never who never fully grasped how commas work and just sort of uses it like mushrooms in a salad they're just like yeah i'm just gonna put a however many i feel need to go in the salad <laughs> like whatever <laughs> i feel like uh, somebody to go here and then i'm gonna put no i don't need any any there so <laughs> <laughs> that is so true he's just yeah. like throwing the shrooms all over there it's not making yeah. any sense you're like what these aren't just raw we're just I, I, I always think serial killer. If you're putting raw mushrooms in your salad, you're going to kill me. You're going to kill me. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? It's like, it's tastes like foam, right? It's the texture <laughs> is horrible. You, you're a cannibal. Something's wrong with you. Yeah. It's not, no, grill it. I will say I do love, I do love, I, I am kind of psychotic. I do love a, a cold mushroom in a salad, but with dressing, it has to have dressing. Okay. On it. I won't just okay. eat like plain lettuce and plain mushrooms you know like <laughs> Lori, i've known you for many years and now i'm <laughs> questioning this relationship <laughs> i will say though we went to schwartz and sandy's and you they did? have yeah did you have, see him and raquel having sex no and i oh. looked i looked in the boys yeah. and the men's restroom you know mm -hmm. i mean uh or the, the women's boys restroom. and the men's <laughs> those are the, the two the patriarchy the, two. the boys they and the men's care. that's it yeah yeah, no the more. women have to mm -hmm. pee outside. Um, <laughs> and have your babies outside and <laughs> pop a squat out yeah. there. You can do it. Hold on to a tree. Okay. Um, <laughs> but they had like this mushroom. They had this thing that was like a, mu I, it was like a mushroom beignet or something. And mm. I was like, oh, that'll be good because I like mushrooms. Well, it turns out it's like a puree of mushroom that, that they put inside of like a cheesy bread. And I was, just, it was like, it was the weirdest tasting thing. And so that I will say this, I actually genuinely like Schwartz and Sandy's. That was the only downside was I do like how kitschy it is. Like, I like how ugly it is because yes. I feel like that's my aesthetic. Yes. You know, I, I, I have a, a kitsch thing on Etsy. Like I, I like that. Um, but I don't like how long it took them to pick out a couch, like make a decision. No. Obviously these are two men who can't. And when they do, it's the wrong decision. It's the wrong. Yes. And it's, it's always horribly <laughs> wrong. It's never like, <laughs> You know, like, oh, we just, you know, we kind of fumbled it. It's like, no, you you dropped it in a lake of acid and then set that lake on fire. Like, there was no reason for this. You there know, are no like, limbs left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so true. Okay. So we, we're getting horrible punctuation. It's too casual, this alleged apology. Um, Schwartz specifically only found out about this very recently and most definitely did not condone my actions. This was a very personal thing. Also, Schwartz and Sandy's? Might have my name on it, but also 
Uh, there are three other partners and 20 employees who especially rely on the restaurant for income for them and their families. Okay. Uh, just like Tom, Tom, I'm a small part of a much bigger thing. And then he did do do a trumpet solo, do do, you yes. know, um, hot cross buns. And then he got back into it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he said, please direct your, again, didn't spell it out, anger towards me and not them. Okay. They did nothing wrong. I'm so sorry that my partners, Greg, Brock, and Schwartz, and our employees have to suffer from my actions. Okay. I'll be taking a step back, smoking some cigs, and taking a hiatus. Okay. Or uh, out of respect for my employees and partners. I need some time to address everything else. Sorry for everything. What does taking a step back mean? Does that mean he just won't show up as much? Like, <laughs> what? what is, you know, what does he do there that's so pivotal? I have a feeling that Greg well, and Brett do most of the things. Like Poor Greg. Justice yeah. for Greg. Greg is in this, and he, Greg is just like, I don't want any shen. He's that old guy that's like, I don't want yeah. any shenanigans. I don't want any BS. I want yeah. you to show up, wipe the counters, don't get drunk. Don't impregnate anyone on my time. You know, just a very yeah. classic capitalist American man. Yeah. And, oh, and he's yeah. got these schmucks going, well, what we bring to the table is we we shake the hands. Oh, uh, we kiss <laughs> the girls. And we say hi to the babies. Yeah. And that's that's what we do. Well, don't and, forget Schwartz uh, Sandoval's great shot glass idea where you get to keep the shot glass. So. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a county fair, bro. Like this is like this is all year round. That that is yeah. a novelty thing at like a, either a big, I think like a Buffalo Wild Wings. They don't even give you glass. They would give you plastic. Yeah. Well, this I, so this reply to me is I feel like Tom Sandoval. It's just a whole lot of nothing. You know, yes. it's just like it, it's very redundant. He's all mm -hmm. over the place. He's talking about the the affair in the first part, and then he brings it back. Then he talks about his business again. And yeah, it's just, you know, I don't know. I, I also, felt like he did more harm than good with this. And he also yes. apologized to everyone but Ariana. Right. Where's Ariana? Where yeah. is? And I feel like he's saying, I need some time to address everything. So she's the everything. I mean, she's the reason for the season, bro. Like, she's why we're all like, F you, Tom. I could give a crap where people put their weens. But this one hurt us, okay? Yes. This hurt us. We believed in Ariana. I met Ariana in April. I did a stand-up comedy show in front of a bunch of Bravo liberties. I was like, oh, this is either going to go great or this is going to be horrible and i did some jokes about them at my wonderful friend zach peter and up and adams live show uh that they uh they were bringing like their youtube channels and stuff on the road and doing these live shows and so i provided stand-ups open for them and they were fantastic and ariana was my favorite you know and yeah. i i took pictures with sandy butt and since i have digitally crossed his face out of them because I, I feel hurt. Thank I you. Thank you for seeing that. Um, I feel like you, like Lori said, you could have just left. Now I think with him, it was a lot of, he feels as though maybe it would have hurt his brand. So he was kind of stringing or they both could have been too, but definitely him stringing this along because they were kind of branded together. They were just in a big Alka-Seltzer campaign. You know, yeah. so yeah. they're like, we don't want to lose that Elka Seltzer money. Are you so I'm just going to keep having yeah. sex with Raquel. <laughs> as soon <laughs> as know? I, as soon as I, I heard, I immediately said, we're dumping all the Elka Seltzer down the toilet. We're, we're not. And then Done. now we have to, you know, pay for a new toilet. But I mean, I was just like, <laughs> I, we're not, we're not doing this anymore. Like I am, I'm taking Tums now from yep. now on. Tums so, for life. Okay, Tums so where's life. my wife? Tums for life. Um, just a quick reminder, you guys, 462 of you, 64 of you watching live, make sure you smash that like. It helps us so much in the algorithm. And leave your comments in the comment section. If you want to support, feel free to send a super chat, join the, the membership, or just follow us on social media and subscribe. Okay, now that we are we're uh, did our little reminder, um, overall, horrible, this isn't an apology. This is kind no. of like almost like you want me to feel bad for you because your employees are being attacked. What you did is you tainted your brand, bro. You used yeah. your taint to taint your brand and now you have to suffer the consequences. I do think obviously don't go and people wrote like shitty Yelp reviews on Tom, Tom, which you <clears throat> might think is funny now, but it's yeah. actually not great because you have people working there and people put money in like Sandy butts, mom. Could you believe in last episode? He 
uh, admitted that like his mom and stepdad who look like the sweetest little St. Louis, you know, or like Michigan people. Yeah. They like gave their retirement. Like we just put a good quarter of a mil into it. It was nice. You know, oh, his man. mom, the, the firefighter. And I'm like, yeah. why do you need your mom and dad with all the connections you have in LA giving up their retirement for you? Yeah. That, yeah, that, that was a little shady. I was worried about that. I was like, oh God, they're going to lose their retirement. And this was before everything happened. I was like, this yes. is, you know, and I, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I'm just, uh, I'm upset mainly that they won't, that, that he wouldn't just break up with her. I get the, the, the brand thing, but I mean, people love drama. So I think the fact that they had broken up, it still would have been good in the long run. It's just that he did it in such a terrible way, you know, mm -hmm. that now it's like, yeah, you got to suffer the consequences, dude. People aren't going to yeah. like you for a while. So they're going to be upset. I mean, it's a yeah. really disgusting thing. The more these details come out and we'll keep talking about that. Um, okay. Also in this, he says, don't get mad at them. Get mad at me. Come for me. And then what does he do? Lori? What does he do? I turn the comments off. How can I tell you how mad I am? Yeah. <laughs> if you turn the comments off yeah. and he turned the comments off, I think on most of his posts on Instagram. So, yeah. How you're, are we supposed to get mad at you? <laughs> we're, you're opening it up for people to attack those around you if you're not yeah. man enough to have your comment section on. Like, you made a really bad decision because it's not like you just cheated on her. That's one thing. You cheated on her with someone you were both good friends with and you carried it on for months and months and months, made her look like a fool. That either triggers people that that's happened to or it's your worst fear that that's going to happen to you. And plus on national TV, plus Ariana is the most likable uh, to me. I just feel like she's the most level-headed. I told her that at uh, the show where I met her. Like, yeah. I'm like, I feel like you should be the highest paid cast member at this point because you put up with so much. You were calling out Jax's bullshit when everyone else was like, he's cool, he's great. Um, and <laughs> yeah. you just, she she brings a level of, you know, she's been very vulnerable. She shared about her mental health. I feel like she is one of the few feminists on that show. And she goes to like, I guess the beat of her own drummer when it comes to her own womanhood and how she identifies herself. And the other girls are like, hey, it's just pop all the babies out. And I love a baby and I love a popping a baby out. But she constantly is getting grilled about when are you going to have kids? When are you going to get married? When are you going to have kids? When are you going to get married? And I yeah. think a lot of women can relate to that, that no matter what, you could be 60. And if you didn't have kids, people go, didn't you ever want kids? Just, just didn't just didn't work out for you. Didn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. A little too selfish. You don't want to raise something. No. Okay. No. So I feel yeah. like we could, Ariana was someone we could root for and we could relate to. And I'm yeah. speaking from myself, but Lori, I don't know if you agree with that. I mean, no, I, I totally agree. You know, I feel like the, the little clips I saw overall over the course of, you know, a better part of a decade is she really kind of was coming into her own. And, you know, I, I kind of, one of the reasons why I felt like I was, uh, I, I had, when I started like re watching more and stuff, I started having a little bit more respect for Tom. Cause it was like, he seemed like he was supportive and then to kind of do, do this 180 and, you know, just completely stab her in the back for no reason. I mean, it really, honestly, it's just like, you just did it to hurt her. Like you, that to me is how I, how I feel. And I, I just mm -hmm. feel like it's so sick and I feel awful for Ariana. I feel like, you know, it's like, you know, she doesn't deserve this. So, and also exactly Raquel, like what's with Raquel's self-esteem? Like why wouldn't, if you want to be in a relationship with somebody, you want them to be fully in it and not sneaking around. Like that's, that's ridiculous. I feel like Raquel is coming from a place where she's so, and I'm not making excuses for her at all because I think it's atrocious what she did to her friend and someone who was really there for her and cared for her and in her own house, allegedly, whatever. Um, I, I just feel like she is, she doesn't know her own worth. And with Raquel, I can say, okay, she was in the beauty world industry. She dated James Kennedy. I mean, that can make anybody or, or, or other side of the coin. She could have always been like this and she could have been just playing up the victim. Like I think a little bit Brittany Cartwright did for a lot of seasons. We were like, oh, that poor gal and that Jax. And it's like, no, no, it takes a certain type of person to be yeah. with someone like that, knowing what they know about him. And then you yes. learned, oh, Brittany might be a little closer to jacks to his personality than we think and there's no human that is just this 
innocent, like, hi, hey, y'all. Everybody's got a dark side. Yeah, Everybody, yeah. we've all done stuff we're not proud of. But like you were saying, Lori, with Sandy Butt, you lied to us straight up. You acted like you were cool. You acted like you supported this strong woman next to you. But really the whole time you were intimidated by her. And I went back as you do when this stuff happens and watched old clips, watched old episodes of certain seasons. And remember when Ariana was going to put her book out and Tom yeah. started making it about himself. Yes. And then they ultimately did a cocktail book together, but she basically straight up told him like, you're not going to make this about you. I don't want your life. Like she did a varsity blues. I don't want your life. And he got really pissy. That was back in his ponytail days. Yes. Yeah. And she was like straight up called him. She's like, you're being a little bitch. Like, don't do this to me. I have an idea for myself. Like, you're not going to make this about you. And I, and I even having met him now and looking back revisionist history. Um, so it might not be a hundred percent accurate and I'm in my feels, but I did tell him the conversation I had with him was, I love Ariana. I love her so much. Do you think she'll take a picture with me? <laughs> because she was off. I had already <laughs> talked to Sheena. Sheena was great. She was super cool. She's like, let's collab. I was like, hells yeah. Obviously, I still haven't hit her up for that collab because I'm really bad about that. And I'm like, she was probably kidding. And then she commented again on my Instagram, we should collab, Jillian. And I was like, she's probably still kidding. Uh, so <laughs> she's going to book she... you for a day and you're going to be like, still a joke. <laughs> she's <laughs> a real jokester. Gonna... <laughs> yeah, that's Gina. She's just she's just trying to make this old gal feel nice. But no, she she'll be like, we should really collab. And I'm like, okay, yeah. yeah. Here you are don't the dates. Collab. <laughs> I have a car coming for you. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. That she, oh. she hired a car to show up at my house to just funny. get one over on the old lady. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's my own insecurities. But I remember telling Sandy, but like, oh, do you think he's like, yeah, yeah, and you could just tell like he might hear that a lot. Like we love Ariana because yes. that was my whole joke. I did a, I did a joke about it on stage in front of them. I'm like, you guys know the best thing about the Toms. And most people are going to say, you know, they're gay, they kiss. And I said, it's Ariana, you know, without Ariana, who gives a fuck about the Toms? Yeah. And everyone starts laughing. And after that, Ariana was like, Oh my God, I love that joke. Cause I thought you were going to say the gay thing. And I was like, Oh my God, no, they would be way more interesting if they were gay. They're not. Um, I could like stand them then I feel like, but, um, <laughs> yeah, with all their you faults, know. you can be but like, you've okay. always, exactly. But you've always been the most interesting part of the Toms has been the women, the women behind these guys. And, it's, and specifically to me, Ariana. So, but I could tell that he was, I don't know, there's just, maybe I'm reading it now differently because of what I know, but that, you know, he was like, yeah, yeah, she she was yeah, she is great. And I think we see that in some of these episodes where people are like, Ariana's so great. And he's like, Yeah, yeah. You know, people do that that whisper. Yeah. 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 Like if I'm up here yeah. and you're up here and someone goes, God, Lori's so funny. And yeah. I let's say, you know, as comedians, your ego at times yeah. or you go up on stage, right? And yeah. then someone comes up to you in the audience. I don't know if this has ever happened to you. Definitely happened to me. And they were like, oh my God. And I was like, mm, they're going to say I was funny. They're like, that girl was so funny that, uh, what's her name? And I was like, yeah, that, yeah. her name is yeah. Julie. She's great. She's or, funny. <laughs> if you've ever opened for a comedian there, like, and somebody comes, excuse me, oh my God, you were so funny. Um, can you take a picture of me with <laughs> Melissa Beer from North? <laughs> And I'm like, yes. yeah, yeah. With the real famous comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 uh, sure. Oh my God, that is so true. And it is, it take, it's, it's, it, it, but it's good. It's a good thing so that you like go, oh yeah, I got to let my ego down. Like obviously yeah. people are going to want to take a picture with Melissa Villasenor more than you want to take a picture I, with me. I think a rational person, you know, it's okay to have those feelings, but then a rational person would have that commentary, which is like, of course they want to take a picture. They have no idea. She's on SNL. Yes. She's on SNL. Yeah. She's been torn. I'm you on know. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Who gives a shit? You know. <laughs> and Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's not forget about Instagram. And TikTok. Okay. <laughs> but All the she... stuff you can easily get on. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like with Tom, yeah, because he's got, he's so, he's such a freaking child. That he is just like, oh, they don't like me and that hurts my feelings and I have to prove myself by seeking attention from other women, you know, it's just, I just, yes. think that's, yeah. It's that classic like Hollywood male, not ready to grow up, not ready to just not strong enough to be with a powerful woman who is a force within her own. 
you know? Yeah. And I think that's what Ariana is. Um, thank you, Anne, for the super chat saying thanks for the kikis. Both of you are so funny. Oh, Anne, stop. That's very thank nice. So much. Thank and you. Anne made another great comment. Sandoval definitely has Prince Charles syndrome. That is, oh my God. I don't know if you're into yes. the royal stuff. Are you? I'm not, but I, I okay. know about the Prince Charles. Yeah. I, know I got so excited. It. I was like, you are? <laughs> okay, we're going to do lives about it every day. So I'm, <laughs> I, I'm like into that stuff. And obviously yeah. I think watching the crown is like, oh, that's history. You know, I don't have to read. I got the crown. <laughs> yes. Um, way I, better than the books <laughs> i show my i show my students the crown every day i'm like this is this is what we're gonna do <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna join your class if that learn works. this learn, learn this. this but it definitely gives you vibes of what diana went through with charles not to be too melodramatic but that's what i'm known for um <laughs> is that you know you have someone like ariana who is i mean not everyone you're not not everyone's likable 100 percent, but she she gets a pretty good reaction from a lot of people. Yeah. Um, and she has been the voice of reason and she is very empathetic and she's very smart and she's just, she's, I don't know. I kind of want to date her now. She's single. I wonder if she, you know, yeah, hey, know. she made out with Lala. Who knows? <sighs> I, well, they went, she went downtown and I don't know if I can go downtown, yeah. but, um, yeah, well, I'll have to, well, I could Google it and see like, just, you know, like, what, you know, yeah, look, I, I could ask like my husband, my numbers are low, uh, recruiting wise. So I'm just mm -hmm. going to say, just maybe try it, you know, just, just try, try it. Yeah. <laughs> just try okay. it. You know, well, maybe, maybe I would just say like, be into it. yeah, I would talk to your husband first. Cause I feel like he okay. might want, you know, he might want to be a part of it. You know, I don't want to start a scandal with your marriage. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to be one of those uh, ladies that is like a little too aggressive, you know, and then I'm just go straight to downstairs. I didn't even open the door. Yeah. Um, and then it's like <laughs> the pants are still on and I'm like, ah, you know, yeah, so yeah. I, I have to I have some studying to do if that is the case. But yeah. really, I just look uh, I, I look to her as like a great being. But also, you know, I, I mean, if I was single and she was single, she could I, I could be her first wife, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, or common law, I should say. Yeah. She's also one of the few uh, people on the show who uh, like apologize, you know, when they say something, they do something, they're like, hey, I'm sorry, I, you know, and genuinely mean it, you know, and I think that that shows depth and that shows character. And yeah, she, you know, she's she, she's on the show, so she's got to like play it up and stuff. But you know, I just, again, we go back to this thing. It's like, they had a real relate. It wasn't just a showmance. It was a real relationship where they built something and he was yes. willing to completely throw it away. That's, For the Bambi eyed bitch yeah. to Lala. I mean, that's terrifying. That is, is that's terrifying. a, you know, just how low he's willing to go. And I think I, it is, yeah. it, it like triggers everybody's like biggest fear that you'll be in this yeah. relationship you think and granted i mean they had some issues but what relationship doesn't you know no. but that you yeah. would be so humiliated it's not just oh hey sorry i my wiener fell in somebody else one night i had too many drinks and you're like oh god that's horrible but it's a million times more horrible when it's it's also our really good friend raquel who stays here in the guest room and it might have happened while you were sleeping while in the guest room because allegedly Ariana woke up one night and he was down there at 4 a.m. This is all alleged. And he was coming out of Raquel's guest room and she said, what were you doing in there? And he said, giving her some water. What? She's thirsty. She was very thirsty. She was parched. <laughs> she had a camel a, yeah. toe and a camel thirst, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I don't know. Um, shout out to Auntie in the chat. Hi, Auntie. Auntie says she feels very differently. Um, you couldn't stand her. She never listened to him. And that's the thing. Not everyone is going to. Okay. That's the great thing about these you know, shows. We all have our own opinions and you can see something. But we love Auntie. Shout out to Auntie. You guys are always probably already all subscribed to Auntie because she's the best. Um, but um, so this uh, getting back into Ariana and Tom. And so it's just that, you know, feeling uh, very betrayed by him because he pretended to be so cool and something he wasn't. Now. Yeah. Now, allegedly, you know, page six has been putting out all this stuff like Tom left the house and Ariana dumped him right away, which I would expect nothing less from Ariana. She's not yeah. going to Brittany Cartwright this. She's going to be like, F you. Yeah. F your mom, too. No offense. Shout out to firefighters. <laughs> but like, so this apparently is Ariana Maddox, B. Son McDonald's, which I've been cheated on and dumped before. And I definitely had McDonald's and sushi yes. in the same night with lots of of wine. Yes. Um, and so she flips the bird according to page six, who's very reliable. Um, after Tom Sandoval's 
split. So here we have, this is, and so many people post this on social media and we're like, that's our girl. Yeah. That's, this is the energy we that's need. That's the energy. Yeah. You know what? She's, she's on the road to healing. That's what I, that's what I saw when I looked at that. Oh my God. She's got, hopefully that's a high C orange, you know, maybe yeah. it's a Diet Coke, but high C orange is very soothing when you're sad, when your yes. heart's broken, you know, if you lose your job, go get a high C orange. I'm telling you, it's just that yes. straight syrup right. hits you in a way it just slaps. Okay. Um, Ariana looked not so happy according to page six, while getting ready to feast on some fast food on Saturday, following her split from Tom Sandoval in photos obtained exclusively by page six, the Vanderpump rule star 37 was spotted arriving back to her Los Angeles home with a large Brown uh, bag filled with, I love how they're like telling us like we've never had McDonald's <laughs> before a large Brown bag. Wow. What is it red? Are you sure it wasn't yeah. red? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and I thought they said Mountain Dew, but it was a fountain drink in tow. Oh, that is that from the, I thought it was a can. Wow. Crazy. What? What Page, la what lavish life they leave, leave. I went to school for journalism, and this is some good journalism. <laughs> uh, the blonde beauty, 37, uh, kept things cozy with light gray sweatpants and a dark gray sweat. <laughs> wow. Now you're just Paired describing the picture. <laughs> I, it, not, like, I, how much did these people get paid? Because I'm about to apply. Yeah. Um, you know, and then she had a very, a, a dusting of a smoky eye, but nothing too dramatic <laughs> because she knew she probably wasn't going to go out or it's last night's makeup. Either way, yeah. she was really in mourning. Yeah. Um, but Maddox was in no mood to be photographed. Well, yeah. What do you think? She did her little um, video with Kristen Doty, who showed up at her house right away. So all the Vander girls, the OGs showed up for Ariana, which I thought was beautiful. And I hope they show yes. that in the episode. So you got Kristen showing up with wine. It was almost like when uh, 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 Dorit got allegedly robbed. Remember? Yes, yes. And then they all showed up for her. But they yeah. uh, they came with um, wine. So you got Kristen. She's getting out. She's got crusty yoga pants on, just Kristen Doty style. Just like, hey, <laughs> I just got off a you know 12-year bender. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> brought her flowers from Albertson. Super loved it. And then Katie shows up like I fucking knew it. I told you guys, you know, you know, she's just yeah. like, I told you she was shitty. Oh, um, yeah. Sheena shows up in a bucket hat. Very classic for her now. See, I feel like I write for page six and uh, lavender sweatpants. Very yes. cute. Um, and then Stassi's pregnant. So she might have morning sickness and not care. One of the two. She, well, you know. Yeah. Or both. Could, or both. Yeah. Um, and then I'm not sure who else, but they just like, they, oh, oh Dana, do you remember Dana who was on like yeah. half a season and she's oh. a stand-up comedian, the blonde. Yeah. Oh, okay. Talk. Yeah. 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 Does she still do, do comedy? We should have her, um, we, come talk to us. Yeah. You should have. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see, uh, I forgot about her. Yeah. I wonder what she would have to say about this. <laughs> she's been kind of active on social media and she's been very supportive of really? um ariana and just like f this f these dudes and stuff so that would be so it was nice to know she had that um yes. but they really made a big deal out of how she left her house as tom was leaving with bags now some people say it was his bags to move out and other people say it was merchandise for the show he performed that night where like Lori said he was um chanted at as a cheater asked where ariana was people brought cards with ariana's face on it people asked where raquel was he screamed into the mic it was a successful show in tom sandoval standards so <laughs> yeah ariana's one of the best one of the, one best. Of the best he was like i killed it you know <laughs> yeah and i'm just thinking i don't know like we're both performers if i got caught in let's say a horrible cheating scandal and me and chell had a mutual friend who was a bambi eyed bitch and we were supporting him, you know, during yes. his beauty pageants and breakups with guys from uh, the UK who spit on your apartment doors. I, you know, and I was caught just, you know, banging them out as you do. I don't know if I could do a comedy show that night. Yeah. Could you? No. Well, I will say, though, that, you know, I feel like we try. You know, Tom goes out there and and kind of, you know, yells into a mic. So I think he he probably is just like, you know, what does he have to do? You know, right. I, the band I, does all the work. You're yeah. right. What am I thinking? So, James Kennedy does more work by going one, two, yes. one, two. Is that what? Because when he DJs in the last episode, you know, he was like on the ones and twos. I think this is this is how I would DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's no one's good, ever asked me. That's a good Thank spin. You. That's a good it's spin. It's also very good for your like i don't know your dexterity yeah yeah, yeah. um but he was like well, I, he just counted a lot he's like one 
two, three. But I, I can't remember how he counted. If it was like, because it wasn't like you're in a rock band, like three, two, one, go. Yeah. And then he's like, mm, 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 mm. and then does this and he hits the thing and the so, buttons. Yeah. He, yeah he's he, a big, he's a big button, like sim- doing one thing and, and doing like he's, this is like, he's always doing, he's never doing the same thing with both hands. Like he's no. always like either going like this and hitting buttons or he's got his hand on his ear. He's like, or he's like going like this. one. He's yeah. going this. Yeah. Or he's doing this. He's just doing circle or jerks. Doing ah. this. <laughs> or this. You know, he's doing a lot of. He's doing, or this. You know, he's doing a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Oh, he's, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that takes more than I think what Sandoval's bringing to the table. And, again. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm mad as well. But I never did enjoy the trumpet. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Um, so then we have sightings of Sandy Butt. He's a smoker. Are we surprised? No. I, no. I. What do you want to bet that he like? I, see, here's the thing about Tom is that now I'm starting to think that like everything about him isn't real. So it's like I I would bet that he's not really a smoker. He just wants people to think he's a smoker. <laughs> he didn't light it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he picked up a butt on the ground. He was like, oh, here comes the pops. Yeah. Or it's the wrong end. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's like, this hurts. It's burning my tongue. Ow! So <laughs> supposed Ow. to be this way. When yeah. I was a firefighter. I should know more. And then he just stop, drop, and rolls. Um, <laughs> which is going to be the name of this live stream? Is just stop, drop, and roll. I actually think I like that theory, but I think he does smoke because I can tell by his voice. Oh yeah, well it's awful. So <laughs> there's yeah, yeah. <laughs> even his talking voice. He's got that like. Hey guys, like, why are we getting Schwartz? Is like, he's he's a battered wife, <laughs> guys. Seriously, it's a battered wife. <laughs> he's battered. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the smokers too. I gotta go outside. <laughs> no shade to you, just Sandoval. Yeah, I gotta go outside and smoke. So he's wearing all black, like you do in LA. Laurie and I, you know, yes, uh, lived in LA for you. You still do. So it is. Obviously, you have to wear all black, not only to funerals, yes. but just to everyday happy things like children's birthday parties. So he's photographed wearing all black, got his, got his domes on, you know, listening to himself, I imagine. <laughs> oh, pro- oh, for sure. So, I really, Laurie, thought he did uh, King. That's what I originally thought he did Kings of Leon covers. Doesn't he look like he does Kings of Leon yes, covers? Yes, he does. So he's like, Lay where you're laying. <laughs> Don't make a sound. <laughs> I know they're watching. It's good, right? Yeah. They're watching. Something. I didn't learn these other words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sex is on fire. Raquel. Rachel. <clears throat> so, um, you know, he's just listening to himself. And he's, uh, they're just, you know, he's, the trio's co-star James Kennedy corroborated the information saying that illicit romance began seven months ago, which would have been July. The DJ who was previously engaged to Levis or Rachel Levis, whatever her name is, Levis, um, Lapisser um, also claimed the duo's escapade sometimes took place while Maddox was home and sleeping. That part just makes me want to die. That is awful. And also the sim- the necklace thing, that is really bad. Like the- those two things, I mean, look, all of <sighs> those it. Those two ne- things, yeah. All of it are bad. All of it's bad. I'm not saying that, you know, that it, it's not all bad, but that is really the, the, uh, the kernel on the poop Sunday, as I would say. <laughs> Seriously. <It's, laughs> yeah. It is on the total shit Sunday. Hey, Jenny yeah. gal. Um, also, why are you smiling? You should, this is the time you better be walking to yeah. what's that rehab that everybody goes to in LA. It's like cascades or. Oh, the desert yeah. palisades or something. Yeah. At this point, I think one of them needs to enter too much sex. You know, oh, I'm a sex addict. Pull out a good old David Duchovny. You know, yeah. hey, I like uh, the poon. I can't help it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, it's all stems from my childhood, which was great. Yeah. But I just always <laughs> felt like there was something missing. <laughs> my mom was always putting out other fires, but not the fire in my heart. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And I had uh, fires of my own. She wasn't available because she was saving lives. Yeah. So I, I, I could see him going like, I'm just a love addict. Okay. I'm just, a, and then oh, it's also yeah. one of his songs. I'm just a love machine. And I won't work for nobody but you, <laughs> you know, yeah. something like that. 
Yeah. Okay. He's going to um, definitely parlay this into like a music video or something where like a document <sighs> series like Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber did. Oh my God. If he makes money off this, Lori, we will riot. <laughs> if he markets this behavior. Yeah. It oh, yeah. Merch I'll protest. Something. I'll protest. You and I. We'll, I did we'll not protest together. for anything important, but I'll protest for this. And it's you know not because I... I was afraid of going outside. <laughs> 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 it's not that. It's not that. It's not, it's not that. You know, why I also feel really offended by this whole situation is as a comedian. Remember Ariana? She took sketch comedy very seriously. Remember when she said that to, yes. to Kristen Doty, who said, my friend is a stand up and she toured with the troops and ariana's like mm, i don't think she's funny and i take sketch comedy very seriously <laughs> and so i respect her because she respects what we do and she she does that too i bet you she's taking all the groundlings and all the stuff you do in la yeah so i this oh so this is now time ariana if you're listening i know hi we haven't talked in a little bit um but i still have the best friend necklace that I got for you and me and just wore both of them. Um, and <laughs> I think this is your time to be a stand-up comedian. Yes. Don't you think? Yeah. Also, hi, Ariana. We never met. Uh, my name's Lori Roddenkamp. Um, I think that you should, yeah, you need to make some jokes out of this. You need to do a Chris Rock, Rock uh, Netflix special of this uh, proverbial slap in the face. Yes. So, yeah. Th I mean, this is perfect time. I mean, getting cheated yes. on is the best time to start stand-up comedy. I did. Um, <laughs> that is like exactly when I started in 2009. I was like, oh, my boyfriend's having a butt intercourse with a vegan in community college. I will start comedy now. Where <laughs> oh, is funny. there? Let me Google it. Um, so a little before then. But um, so there was these rumors that came out early about Schwartz. Because I think this whole Schwartz thing was just a ruse to hide yes. this, the, uh, the Sandoval thing. And they were like, Schwartz made out with, you know, uh, Rachel at Coachella. And Schwartz was like, I wasn't that. I don't think I was there. I don't remember. There was Miller Light, Coors Light. And, but who was there was Sandy Butt. So it's like, is that the time? Is that that? That's probably what was happening then. Yeah. Is Could be. It was put out like oh she's kissing tom okay we'll throw schwartz under the bus he's like i'll do anything for you tom i love you i love you you're my man you're my guy yeah you're my dude we got this also got schwartz this. is kind of an idiot well he's not kind of an idiot schwartz is an idiot and so i could honestly see them tricking schwartz into just going along with it where he thinks it's he thinks that it's really happening and he's all like oh yeah I'll, okay i'll kiss you okay uh yeah we're good friends so okay it's like he just doesn't understand what's happening exactly so. yeah, did that happen i feel like you could convince schwartz of things um yes miss t ariana was there too um so here is a some uh blind items we've been getting um and by we i mean the internet and then just you know constantly um searching for these okay so now we know that the season was technically done filming and okay. they put the trailer out. We haven't had a mid-season trailer, so they could have still been editing episodes. I think with production, maybe they weren't completely – maybe they didn't have all the episodes ready. Um, but they probably were close. I mean, they knew their storylines and stuff. But now we get to do like a plug-and-play because as soon as this information came out, because allegedly it happened at uh, Sandoval's concert um, on Wednesday that Ariana was at. And it was only when – lots of differing reports about this, but – uh, some people um, that were at the show have come forward and said, oh, no, Ariana was there and she was standing ovation clapping for Sandy Butt, like you killed it, baby. And then she went to the bathroom. And after she came out of the bathroom, that's allegedly when shit went down. And really? people are saying that that's when maybe she got a hold of his phone because either he left it with her or she um, he dropped it. Something happened with the phone. And. When that happened, this is all alleged, that she looked at the phone and saw a screen recording of a FaceTime video of Rachel tickling her own ivories. What? What? Wow, I didn't hear that. That is crazy. And so now more news has come out that um, 
apparently the PR company, because we all know, you know, PR in LA is very important. Uh, Raquel, and this is uh, according to uh, Demois, which is, do you, do you follow Demois, the podcast? They get all the anonymous tips about all the celebrities. Oh, yeah. uh, my fiance does. Yeah, I, I know. Oh about my them. God. They're great. I wish that I would have thought of something like that because they're just killing it. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't know a ton, but now I want to like listen and watch and support. So just in Demois stories, they drop all these um, blind items, you know, and a lot of their stuff uh, ends up being like, oh, that was right on. And they have people out on the street being like, oh, Jason Sudeikis is out with Olivia Wilde again. Okay. So Harry Styles dropped her. So now they might be getting back together. That's just what I learned today. Okay. That's really? apparently well, he they were somewhere. He broke up with his girlfriend shortly before. Well, not shortly, before, but, but before sorry. they broke up. So Siri um, tried to interrupt us. I'm sorry. Oh, Siri. Siri, you dumb bee. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I could see that. Uh, yeah, I, I love the I love blind items because then you can think about who it is. And then it's always somebody that you're like, oh, of course, it would be that person. So, of yeah. Of course. Yeah. And Demois has been sent. Um, uh blind items about this situation since like December or earlier wow. um, that this is happening a certain uh, extra because Tom's band is Tom and the most extras, you know, um, a certain guy who's most extra is with a Bambi eyed this stuff. So this stuff has been being dropped, but so far we hadn't heard anything about it. So um, nobody really, maybe some people did, but the majority of people really didn't put much thought into it. However, now word on the streets, according to Demond, people inside of Sandy Butt and uh, Rachel, apparently there are people inside of them just telling <laughs> stories, <laughs> well, says yeah. that Raquel fired her PR team yesterday, of which course. not so coincidentally was the same as Tom Sandoval's PR. Her new team is already on the offensive, crafting a narrative that Raquel is also a victim in all this. So here's how they're saying she's a victim. When she films with Sandoval later today, because like I said, or was going to say, the cameras then started filming again, and they allegedly are filming for the next two weeks and maybe adding a uh, full new episode and also maybe some other things into oh, current episodes. Yeah, there. I mean, because you can't leave this out. So it was, you know, oh, yeah. if it would have happened later in the season after they filmed the reunion we we would have never heard about it. we have to wait till next season but since it's so early in the season they can still production can, can still yeah yeah edit, edit it in and stuff yeah oh, yes awesome. because this is all i want to know now i don't care about anything else because everything yeah. else we know is just fake so. yeah 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 exactly um so her team, allegedly, this PR team, is going to craft a narrative that Raquel is also the victim in all this. Uh, sh when she films with Sandoval later today, and that was today, uh, she's been advised and is planning to break things off with him. Because, again, like Lori said, the word on the streets was that this was, I mean, if you've been doing this since August or July, they were they had feelings for each other and matching necklaces. Um, to be determined if that happens, the plan is to then go after Sandoval for screen recording the FaceTime sex session without Raquel's consent. Whoa. Which was uncovered by Ariana on Saturday's, uh, or on Sandoval's, Saturday, on Sandoval's phone and led to the unraveling of events. And that was at Wednesday's um, big rock show for the most extras. They're planning to allege that Sandy Butt took advantage of Raquel while she was in a vulnerable moment in life, clouding her judgment, then recording intimate videos without her knowledge. She will then go on an apology to her, relaying that she's devastated by what has unfolded and for betraying one of the best friends, Ariana, one of her best friends. At present, Raquel, Rachel, is not taking responsibility for her role in this affair. She's more concerned with correcting the record on the finger banging <laughs> video. <laughs> I mean, well, that's the least of your worries. Yeah. That's I think the most normal thing you did is finger bang yourself. Yeah. I think, I think cause she's in the thick of it. I think she's not seeing the big picture. So I think she's just, uh, you know, uh, like I, I gotta, I gotta solve this finger banging. It's like the thing we're not, in, that's not 
we don't need to we don't care about that <laughs> i think she's at that age if she's 28 she's like oh my mom or my dad or my brother or sister gonna know a, a finger yeah. bang myself and then it's like well and they're gonna finger bang themselves uh, uh, yeah no one wants to think about that but nobody no one, nobody does but it happens no one wants to think about that but yeah. it happens and my husband just got home to me uh talking about finger banging he said can i give my take because you know he loves he has a <laughs> hot take on finger banging yeah finger ba- you got a hot take on finger banging yeah okay all right Chell. Uh, let's see Chell's it. gonna come over here <laughs> let's so, see it i want to see. see your hot take <laughs> while he's in his underwear so i don't think well, he can I'm come do radio because I'm in my underwear. yeah he's in his underwear because when he gets home from the hospital he takes his scrubs off and puts them right in the laundry room <laughs> oh okay and then, he's, then he showers because covid is still a thing guys well, MRSA mostly. MRSA is a thing. Okay. Oh yeah. Hot take. Hot take. Can you guys hear him? Okay. Here. Okay. Yes. Hot, hot take, guys. I'm I'm here. This is not a recording. These are my fingers. <laughs> Wait. Show your fingers. Those this is his finger fingers. banging fingers. Yeah. These <laughs> are these are my butt banging fingers. <laughs> I butt bang. Butt bang. Yeah. Um. Okay. So this only happened. Oh, here's my take. This happened in the middle of the season because last season sucked, and they want people to watch, and um. Uh, Tom and Adriana broke up uh, a long time ago, but they've been living together in order to make them checks. Oh, Jesse Ventura, the conspiracy theorist over there. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh, Chell. Hot take from my husband. Husband's hot hot takes. Hot take. I don't know if you want to get into it, but I... At some point, I would love to uh, maybe open up the envelope on butt banging and just see what that entails. <laughs> I would too, because I we we would like to open the envelope up on butt banging, finger butt banging. Is that what, what is he? Yeah. Oh, it's a bussy bang. He said. Oh, bus- he's oh, okay. learning all these new terms. You Good know, for him. we hang out with a lot of gay men. Um, yeah. And, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't? I mean, we live in Palm Springs, and that is like we always move where the gays are. West Hollywood. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And and then oh, Palm Springs. Well, yes. That's how, that's where I feel my safest. But that's you know that's just me. <laughs> that's just me. You know. Um. So okay. So a uh, a uh, bussy banging. Got it. Um. Back to the hard hitting journalism now. Um. Yes. So she isn't taking responsibility. They said again, alleged, uh, planning to allege that he took advantage of her while she was in a vulnerable moment in her life, which is, I guess, breaking up with James Kennedy, uh, clouding her judgment, then recording intimate videos without her knowledge. She will then go on an apology tour, relaying that she's devastated by what has unfolded and for betraying one of her best friends, Ariana. At present, Rachel is not taking responsibility for her role in this affair. She's more concerned with correcting the record on the finger banging, like we said, video, than taking accountability for the hurt she has caused. And just for the record, she didn't have these ideas nor plans to distance from Sandy Butt until her new PR team relayed their strategy to try and save her image. Oh, yeah. Uh, She, you know, look, if he's if he recorded the video without her knowledge, that's not good. That that's not good at all. But Mm -hmm. at the same time, you know, like this was a friend of yours. Like this was a, this woman was a friend of yours. This was like, you know, he, he could have tried clouding your judgment, but then why wouldn't you just go and tell Ariana and say, Hey, your friend is trying to get me to send videos of myself finger banging myself. So, you know, I'm like, (laughs) maybe you should talk to him, you know? I mean, yeah. yeah, I agree with you. I think what we've seen this season with Raquel and even her, I get it. Like her and Katie weren't close friends, but even, being and i know katie can be difficult and you know she's got her own thing um rough around the edges if you will at times but how she had no empathy for the fact that you know katie's like hey i'm going through this divorce i'm getting rid of this house and then raquel's like um also uh by the way uh i (laughs) might have asked schwartz if he wanted to make out and like i would make out with them i would i but i wouldn't do I would just do butt stuff because I I respect you. I respect you. I would just be backdoor because I don't want to get pregnant. Oh my God. Um, but that's it. And you're just like, no. What? No. Why? Why would you do that? Why would she you just do this? invited you on a girl's trip and you just said you want to bang her ex that yeah. she's still like that's if Laurie, if you and Star break up. Yes. And then one of your friends, and you're like, I need a girls' weekend. We broke up. Yeah. Okay. Heaven forbid that'll never happen. Okay. I will fight for you too. All right. 
I want your friends. Do, you're like, I will do whatever it takes to stay in this relationship. But right? yes, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll all fight the whole internet. Yeah. Now we all know Lori here. There's 507 of us. We will fight. Okay. Yeah. And star, you know, uh, someone, you know, your friends like, I would love to go on that girls weekend. I support you, Lori. But also I asked star if we could make out, like I did say I would like to make <laughs> out and touch her, her baby door. Like, yeah. That's what I said. That's what I said. Yeah. Would you be okay with that? Uh, well, I would be okay with it as long as it took me to reach the mace that I have in my backpack. So <laughs> I'd be like, that sounds great. Yeah, no, I just, hold on one second. I just got to unzip and then, okay. No, oh, tell me more about that. And face full of mace. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not what a friend does. If no. someone is extending an invitation to you to a girls weekend, you don't follow it up. Like, oh my God, that'd be so fun. I cannot wait to support you in your divorce party. Also, I kind of want to bang your ex, but I, 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 I mean, I offered it. <laughs> I just, I went up to him and I was like, hi, hi Schwartz. And I did this. <laughs> and then he said no. And then I, I did this. And then he still said no. And then I did this. Yes, yeah. But and I could I'm, barely do that. Okay. Um, <laughs> that gonna, was yoga. I'm going to try. Good for you. Good I'm going to see if you. my watch counted that as a workout. Oh, it says I exercised seven minutes today. Did I that hurt, take seven minutes? My vagina hurts just looking at you trying to <laughs> <laughs> move around. Trying my, to yeah. spread my <laughs> My groin got pulled just watching you. Um, but I also love that there's like no time. Like she's just like, you know, like her Katie's like, hey, I'm having, you know, I'm still processing this divorce. I'm still struggling. I want to go on this girl's trip to like unload and like, you know, basically like, you know, take care of myself. Do you want to go? And she's like, yeah, I also want to make out with your <laughs> ex-husband <laughs> like in the same breath. And it's like time timing, like, you know, like wait a couple months, <laughs> like wait, wait, a, wait a little bit. Like, like was... not right when you get the invite and yes. like, we're all the bunnies. I'm saying, you know, but did she do it? Will and will she bring her surfboard? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. will oh, the, yeah. the surfboard um, show up? I thought I had a little, um, well, that's her talent. Her. That is her talent. I mean, that's probably what got him. She was like, I can do things on a surfboard. You definitely have seen before, but you're not expecting someone to do inside. Okay, so what we, what most people do outside on a surfboard, I do inside, and that's how I bring the boys to the yard. Okay, so here's her. This is after she tells. Um, we'll just do an audio through my phone because I didn't get the stuff transferred over. But uh, of her admitting, like, oh yeah, I wanted to make out with Schwartz, and I offered myself to him all of myself and he respected your boundaries and Katie's like, but you didn't respect my boundaries. And then the irony now, knowing what we know, the sick irony that Ariana is sitting there through this and is like, I didn't think you had that in you. So let's, it's really creepy. Yeah. I don't know who I am these days. So I missed the beginning of it, but she's like, Girl, I didn't know you had it in you. Yeah. I don't know who I am these days. And there's just wow. I don't know. There's something that's so creepy. Some, it is something in Raquel's face when she says, "I don't even know who I am these days." I believe her. Yeah, yeah. Like I, mean, I yeah. think this girl is obviously. You know, her dad wanted to move her home, get back to Arizona where people don't finger bang themselves on FaceTime, you know, that could be why she's hiding it. Cause I lived in Arizona for six years and you don't do that stuff. I mean, no. you, you do, they do have communities where you are. Um, what's the thing where you're uh, a Nudist? wife swapper oh, Not nudists, a swinger. you're a swingers. And it depends on like the rock formation in your yard. <laughs> like you could put, so then you'll know, like, are you serious? Like some people think it's just, it's for real. Some people think it's just pineapples, but there are areas if you're an Arizonan, put it in the chat. I forget which which city it was in, but there's a certain city that's known for swingers. So whenever I do comedy shows there, we'd always be like, <laughs> you know, brought my own rocks. Um, and if they have their rocks a certain way, that means we're down to swing. Um, so oh my God, could you that imagine could explain accidentally Raquel? putting your rocks in the swing formation and then just like having people go like, <laughs> oh no, here. I just like a circle with one in the middle and yeah. one pointing out north. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, you're not here. You're not, you don't want the butt stuff. No, I mean, <laughs> I do for my wife, but not from you. <laughs> not from you. Obviously like, yeah. You know. Uh, so that, you know, 
the Arizona thing could could play into it. I don't know. But there's just this look she has. And now maybe I'm reading too much into it again, melodramatic. But knowing what I know now, going back and watching that episode, and she's like, I don't even know who I am anymore. And she's drinking a lot, and her dad wants her to come back home. And we saw it in the episode. She's like, pound a Miller Lite with a shot. Now, granted, that was all I did when I was 28. And now I'm a recovering yeah. alcoholic. You know what I mean? Like those things happen. Yeah. But she's on a path that's not great. It's a very bad no. path. And there is a part of me that uh, I'm not ready to forgive. I'm not ready to make nice. Like the, like the Dixie chicks. No, they're not the Dixie chicks anymore. They're the chicks, right? Yeah. The chicks. Something? Okay. Yeah. Cause yes. Cause they found out that there's meaning that they, okay. Yes. Um, and I'm not ready to make nice. I'm not ready to back down. I'm still mad as hell and I don't have time to go around and around and around. Okay. It's too late yeah. to make things right. I probably wouldn't yeah. if I could but I'm mad as hell, can't bring myself to do what it is you think I should, which is forgive Raquel and Sandy Butt. But I will say if anyone I would forgive down the road, again, didn't happen to me, would be Raquel. I would never forget and I'd never be her friend. But she's young, 28. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's young. It's young at 43. I look back, okay, I was a little drunky too. Um, and now my husband's singing, I'm not ready to make nice chill. I just... I was Bussy gang, bussy gang, bussy gang. Bussy gang, bussy gang, bussy gang. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I feel as though, you know, sobriety might help her in this sense because yeah. making a lot of bad decisions drunk. You know, she is young. But Tom Sandy Butt, no. 40, bro. You're 40. And so time to get a job. Uh, time to get a job, Chell says. And I think hopefully what this blind item or whatever is telling us from Demois is – Hopefully it's not true that she's only doing this for P the, because the PR people told her. Hopefully she really did, if he did do that, feel violated and she's not making it up because that will, you know, have a very big effect on him. Yes. If he, oh yeah, for if sure. she claims he did some kind of revenge porn um, and filmed her without her consent during a FaceTime, there was a guy from the challenge and he was on Big Brother and his name was Bear. He did that to a girl named Georgia. They were on the challenge. I don't know if you ever watched MTV's yeah, challenge. Yeah, and he he just went to jail or something, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Totally disgusting. So um, I'm not looking for a redemption arc yet, but I guess my, uh, my heart as an older woman now, you know, older than her, um, yeah. is hoping that she you know, all comedy aside, hoping that she finds her way and that she realizes that she is worth more than these douchebags, older men who should know better. Yes. Um, it's a little bit of a la la path, which is interesting that she's kind of embarking on right now. Yeah. And, you know, she probably was put into a box like the sweetheart box. And again, nobody is the, you can't be America's sweetheart. That's the dumbest thing ever. Don't even try ladies because we were much more complex than yeah. that. Um, but with Tom, to me, he looks like a whole ass predator. And there was more news that came out. Are you ready for this? Okay. What? I, I'm worried now. <laughs> I know. Now, I don't, and again, in LA, just to go off, remind me that I'm going to tell you that and something about Sheena, if you, because I, my ADHD is kicking in. Um, yeah. Averia is saying um, Raquel probably thinks she's going to be the star of the show. Yes. And I think there's this, you know, and I think Lori and I, I mean, on a small scale, I feel like I can, I don't know if you feel the same way, can kind of relate that at when you're only valued for your beauty, which a lot of these women are, yeah, unfortunately, there's a, there's a shelf life that you're told by society and Hollywood. And then what do you do? And I think there is this, all of these people are thirsty thirst traps and they want to be on the show and they want to yeah. Get famous and all that. So they'll pretty much take any route they have to. But what's flawed isn't necessarily them. It's the system that's in place. And also yeah. the conditioning that being famous, even for effing your friend's guy, is better than not being famous at all, if that makes any sense. Oh, yeah. And I, I agree with you. I don't look, I don't think that it excuses her actions to sort of under try and understand where she's coming from. And I feel the same way about Tom Sandoval. I mean, and they're both two very lost people who just go to show that fame is not is not a, a band aid. Is not going to help you if you still feel mm -hmm. damaged and you still feel like you don't know what you want to do, 
or where you want to go. And, you know, these are two people who, you know, Tom Sandoval, I, I suppose, I mean, I assume is making a lot of money. I mean, he can pay for all those, you know, <laughs> all those people's, you know, music training and all the, all the equipment and everything. And the suits he's getting like, you know, yeah. he's getting like lifts in his shoes and his converse and, uh, personal or whatever designer suits from some guy like, Whoa, but you need mommy and daddy. Yeah. The firefighter and the retired people on their fixed income to give you money yeah. for your businesses. To give you money for your, Yeah. I think he's just like a big pictures guy. You know, he seems like he's very like the, I like the, I like the big picture. I don't like the minutia of figuring out what the plan is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's also just a very lost person. It seems like, and I mean, it doesn't excuse what they did, but it just, it, you know, I think they're not monsters, right? They're just two people who made a, made, kept, who made a mistake and then never made it, uh, never made a, a good decision after that. Like you mm -hmm. can make mistakes and then you make another choice to go, okay, I'm going to own up to this mistake or I'm not. And they just continuously said, I'm not going to own up to this mistake. So, you know. Yes. And I think the monsters, they will then be defined as monsters how yes. now that it's come out, how they handle this. And if yes. they project and if they don't expect, uh, accept responsibility and if they don't do something to uh, redeem the situation and to acknowledge, you know, wholeheartedly the pain they caused someone who was very kind to them and very loving to them being Ariana. Um, if they don't do that, then I think, well, okay, then you're monsters. You know, if yeah. you can show no, I mean, it, it's hard because it's like, that's a long time. It's a long, long time. Trick yeah. someone. And to keep and to going lie. on in the depth. It's cruel. The depth. It's cruel. Oh, it's very cruel. And the depths that they went, it's just so, to me, it just, it, Ariana does not deserve this. I just keep going back to that. She did not mm -hmm. deserve this. She did not. Look, if they, if they wanted to have a relationship, all of that stuff, is fine right that they you know they they were having sex they were giving each other necklaces that's fine if he had just gone to ariana and said look i'm no longer interested in having a relationship with you i yes. want to pursue a relationship with with rachel um and that's fine you know it's it sucks but it's fine but the fact that they chose to do none of that it just shows that they're 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 how flawed their character is very flawed and just how I do think there's a certain aspect of LA that I see it. I've seen it happen in like even friends where I was like, Oh, gross. You know, it starts with just not being able to make eye contact during a conversation, someone looking over you to see if someone more important is around to talk to you. Yeah. And then you have to watch people to see their true character when they do get an opportunity or something. And if it truly changes them and if they're willing to do anything for it. And that's why I'm yeah. glad I moved to Los Angeles when I was older because had I in my twenties, I don't know what I would have done, you know, but yeah. I moved in my thirties. So there was definitely like boundaries. Then I was like, Oh, I'm not fucking doing that. You know, I got asked to do a freaking depends commercial. I was like too soon, too soon. I did not <laughs> want to be on a billboard and a diaper yet. Like yes. I want, I'm not shits or pants years old. Like I'm definitely poised pads. Okay. I'm not yes. ready for that. And I'm glad because I don't want to be looking back at it right now. Grants, I probably would have looked really good. Cause I was like 35 at the time. Um, so a 35 year old in a, in a diaper. Uh, uh, yeah. I would have bought Depends. I mean, if you had, if you had gone to commercial, <laughs> I would have bought Depends. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> that could have been my, I mean, that could have been uh, my, uh, I don't know. What I looked back on is like a fond memory. You know, oh, yeah. Like, I started, oh, uh, I started doing stand up when I was 17. And, oh God, um, so uh, brave. You're so Dave Chappelle. So brave. So brave. Well, so brave. I mean, you know, where am I now? Um, so <laughs> I started doing, right here on YouTube being yeah. super famous. Oh, yeah. 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 Of course. <laughs> Um, so I started doing, so I started doing Sam when I was 17 and you know, you fall into that. I will say you do fall into that, uh, like what other people think and how they think. And, and there was a time where I was like, you know, I was always a plus size girl. And so, and so I was like, Oh, it's so funny that you're fat. And I remember one time I was in, I was doing a sketch with some friends and we were thinking, trying to think of ideas. And it was, uh, this guy goes, Oh, you know what? I have some, uh, headshots from other actors. And it was almost like I knew exactly what I was going to say. Cause I was like, he's going to say, wouldn't it be funny if I pick a skinny girl and then it's you and it's cause you're fat and that's going to be funny. And I was like, I don't feel comfortable doing this. 
And then he was like, no, 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 it's going to be really funny. And then they like, literally everyone was like, it's going to be hilarious. We should do it. And I did it. And I knew I wasn't, I didn't want to do it. And that was like sort of, and that was when I was in my late twenties. And I was like, I had that moment where I was like, why didn't I just say no? Like, I just could have said no, yeah. you know, like I didn't say it, but I let it happen because I wanted them to like me and I wanted to, you know, feel part of the comedy group and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think those people are in that world where you also sort of don't know why people like you, you know, cause you're still yeah. so low in your confidence. And so you, you sort of just glob onto people who just like you, even if it's for wrong reasons. And so I feel like Raquel is definitely in that mode where she's just like, she just came out of a relationship with James, which, you know, again, is probably going to, we're going to find out was like abusive. <laughs> and the most more we found out now, it seems pretty not It great. was definitely emotionally. I mean, I, I yeah. guarantee that James Kennedy, I mean, we've seen it on the show, him be emotionally abusive and spit yeah. on doors and say horrendous things. And then it was always like, he's drinking, he's young. And it's yeah. like, or he is just engaging in emotional abuse. And, and just, yeah. And so he, she just came out of that and it's like, you know, so I, I understand why this happened. I don't agree with it. And I think that she did have a choice to, she could have come out of this and said, Hey, this is happening. Or she could have reached out to Ariana or somebody, but she just chose not to. And so, yeah. Yeah. It and you wish she would have, because yeah. this is the last thing you want to see for like a young woman, but you know, she does come from a world that is very interesting. In fact, you know, the fact that you have been in this pageant world and no shade to, to women in pageants. I mean, it no. is a very legitimate thing, but the whole system of it, of, of being judged and having this cap at uh, 28 and, you know, very based on, you know, looks and appeal and why you still need a swimsuit competition. Um, and my I always remember the the girl uh, who was like, and the Iraq and the and all the places like the Iraq and the yes. and the and the Iraq. I wonder where she is now. I hope she's yeah. Maybe she's in Iraq. We don't know. Yeah, but I think she's uh she's heading up education in the government. I think that's a. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's her name. That, what was her name? Uh, Betty. Betsy DeVos. Betsy DeVos. I think that, that's is, her. that is grown up Betsy DeVos. Yeah. 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 Um, Will Small says, I mean, that James Kennedy called her living Barbie doll. Didn't like when she cried or show, uh, showed emotion. Yeah. Squeeze her face. Exactly. I think that it's like, you know, you're put in this, there's a pretty privilege, but there's also a part where then you're not taken seriously. And we saw yeah. that, you know, we see that with, with someone like Lala. When Lala first came onto the show, I was like, oh my God, I like this chick. She's just like owning herself. She seemed to be really uh, confident. And then I was like, oh, that's just a facade. And yeah. she really is playing into this Hollywood thing. And then she went down the road of Rand, which I don't know if you read the LA, uh, what was it in that, the LA Times or whatever, the big expose on him. And yes, I mean, but, oh. ugh, listen, you look at the guy, there's, we got to start teaching some common sense in the schools, not to sound like, you know, yes. the greatest generation here, but uh, there's a certain type. Some stereotypes yes. are true. Okay. Some ones that make you yeah. racist or homophobic, bad. Yes. Ones that make you just take a look at someone and, yeah. you know, there's certain things that are true. People that look like Randall, yes. who get women that look like Lala, yes. is going to do anything by any means necessary to get that money because that dude was never going to have, he had a beautiful ex-wife. And then all the, like, the boasting about the money, it just screams, you always had low self-esteem. Yeah. You were the little dork. You were going to come to LA, reinvent yourself with other people's money and a producer standpoint, you know? So we saw Lala head down that road and it was just so sad to see her fall victim to a freaking Range Rover, which in 10, 15 years, will people even think Range Rovers <laughs> no. were cool? Because I remember when I thought Saturns were cool. I had a boyfriend who drove a Saturn. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> this is so hot. <laughs> Where is the Saturn now? Okay. And I it was mean, a stick shift. I was yeah. like, oh my God. You I don't know. We're still, I as lesbians, we're still we're still riding high on the Subaru. <laughs> Ooh, I almost bought so, a Subaru last year. And I think yeah, it's a good, it's a high quality vehicle. High it, quality. They're so nice. And they're very expensive. They're very expensive. I had to go with the Honda because it was much more reasonable. Because yeah. I mean, oh yeah. Lesbians have money. Is, is not cheap. Being gay is yeah. not. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Um, Alice says, I can so relate to this. I grew up in Sherman Oaks, California, and my sister was in the industry, and I was a makeup artist. I live in Utah now, and I love it. Oh, I love Utah. Oh, Utah's beautiful. It's I've so often beautiful. thought about just like heading out to Utah, just chill. Let's get a dog and our yeah. cat. Just 
go out there because I love Zion and I've done I did I've done some shows in Park City. And I know that's kind of fancy pants. And you know, just if anyone's like, wanna read Book of Marvin, I'm like, no, thanks. I'm full, you know, and just keep walking. <laughs> yeah. You know, but it's just so beautiful. So, but it's I get it. Beautiful. I get yeah. even being outside of LA now, even just with in Palm Springs, there's it's that pressure is kind of gone. Um, the yeah. pressure that these people must feel on an elevated level. So to to bring it back in, I do have empathy for yeah. Raquel. Well, also, I will say, you know, one of the things that's great is that, you know, you, you created this. I mean, you're, you're so funny and you're so talented and you created this. Lori, Raquel does um, not have that ability. She does not have the ability to create, you know, she is part of the, she has to be like told where she's going to go. And yes. I mean, that's, that's awful. I would hate to be in that situation. I would hate to be somebody who, you know, is unable to create their own content. So they're just sort of beholden to people who are telling right. them, Oh, you know, we don't like, and you. that like, is yeah. you're true, Lori, because you're, you're right on. Cause you're beholden. These people are beholden to gatekeepers in Hollywood yeah. and they really have to jump, you know, how, how high is, is based on what they say, because once you start creating your own shit, again, it's still under YouTube and Google, so they could, you know, F you over at any time, but either way yeah. you can take that to somewhere else because you're creating your own thing. Unfortunately, with a lot of these people, you know, they are beholden to gatekeepers and that is kind of the life they chose. So if the producers or if someone or an agent or a manager, which they've said many times, you should do this or you should play this up yeah, or you should yeah. sleep with this person. I mean, that is what people tell you. And, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, she was advised to that. I also wouldn't be surprised if she's just, you know, uh, medicating herself with alcohol and she's just drunkenly making bad decisions. And yeah, uh, I mean, it could be both hurt people, you know? hurt people. Yeah. Hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. It could be both. I will say, I agree with you. I think just to kind of, I know that I, sorry, I've been adding a circle to this, but I, I, I agree. With, I agree with you. I think that I don't think I'm ready to forgive anyone yet. I mean, in the long run, it doesn't matter what I think, but I think that, you know, that she definitely has to sort of show that she's sorry. And I don't feel like she showed that yet. I mean, it's only been a couple of days, but even the, you know, that PR thing, it seems like she's sort of trying to play a, a victim more rather than say, Hey, you know, I'm sorry that for the things I did to hurt Ariana. Um, and uh, so it'll be interesting to see how she, if she, I feel like if she takes this and uses it as a learning opportunity, this could be, you know, in the end, this could have a silver lining, but right now it just, it seems like it, it might not, it might just be sort of, you know. Yeah. It seems like she's going to do what yeah. her keepers yeah. around her kind of tell her to do to stay relevant. And it basically is a cleanup job at this point. They're just trying to clean her up and get the PR um, yeah. going yeah. on that. Tom will have his own thing and his own story with it um it'll be interesting to see what ramifications it does have on his business much more conversations to be had regarding that but there was some worser and worser i'm just going to use words that aren't real worser and worser allegations well, so this have you ever heard of the guy patrick um uh, somamar or sonar no I forget his name. He's his name's Patrick, right? And he was the guy that brought some receipts forward about LVP, not LVP, sorry, um, Lisa Rinna this past oh, season. Oh, okay, okay. And her, I forget exactly what it was, but her maybe wanting him to take co-stars down or troll farms or something, something, whatever. Well, he's not necessarily known to always be. Um, accurate or honest i should say you know May, he might be trolling people but okay. he did post and i'm trying to find it here um today that he had uh and he video recorded because nowadays people don't even take screenshots as proof they want you to do a screen recording of your exchanges because they can be so easily doctored you know oh yeah okay which is crazy because you used yeah. to be like if you got a screenshot man you're on you know you i know it. right and now and they're like that's not enough. And before that, <laughs> it was just somebody's word. You know, before that, it was just like, I trust Fred, but I don't trust Ted. So, right. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Fred and Ted, because yeah. you didn't have 
and, and the ability to take screenshots. Yeah. So yeah. it was just like, well, Fred's better than Ted. You know, you can't trust a Ted. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No. Um, okay. Let me try to find this Patrick guy. I think he's on my Married to Bravo. Um, what the hell is his name? Pat is that with the S, I think. Patrick uh Solomar Spa. I'm just trying to think of what let's see if anyone's put it in the chat. Summers. Oh, Renee, you're the best. Renee always knows what I'm thinking, what I'm dreaming, what I'm feeling, what I'm hungry for. Um <laughs> Thank you, Renee. Summers. Is that, wait, is it Patrick Sum? Summers? Did I spell it right? Okay. I'm just like, oh, so I spelled it wrong. God. Watching all this has made me dumber. Okay. While you're doing that, I, I do want to say, and I, I don't know if you want to have this uh, for a discussion later, but I do find it funny that this sort of thing is making like Jax and, and James Kennedy and, even Chris to a point come out and be like, L and I was right guys. Remember when I said, and it's like, you never once <laughs> said anything like this. You are a piece of tr like Jack oh, saying that he was proven right about what? <laughs> that you're the number one guy. I mean, is that what, I mean, and, and people are already, I love how when this happens, we want to kind of have revisionist history and go, well, maybe Jax wasn't as bad. Maybe he has changed. Give it a week. No. We'll take off the weight, give it a week yeah. and he will be out. Yes. With something else. You cannot tell me. I don't care what anybody says that that man has not cheated on Brittany Cartwright or oh. done weird stuff and it's still not problematic. No, no, no. Yeah, he had to go. He, I mean, honestly, it's sort of, to me, Jax is sort of like the Roseanne Barr of the show where it was like <laughs> she was problematic and everyone knew he was problematic. And then we're <laughs> shocked when he did something problematic. And it was like, you know this. <laughs> you know what's happening. You know who he is. And you're allowing, you know, it's just, uh, I was, uh, oh, this is what's going to get him. Okay. Yeah. Not the 40 other thousand things that he's done. That's been problematic. Exactly. And it, it's just like, no, you're not. Okay. I found the Patrick guy. I'm going to share this here. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm not going to have this like romantic, nice, uh, soft, you know, Easter bunny feels towards Jax. He, yeah. He's the originator of the, I will cheat with my friend's significant other while he's sleeping, I will also, I mean, just in the way, did he get rid of his Instagram? Because I can't find it. Maybe he got called out because Patrick Summers. You guys see if you can find him on there because I uh -oh. can't find him. Uh-oh. Well, Tom did. Okay, so Tom Sandoval, Sandy Butt, did um, say that he was going to get his allegedly that he was going to get uh legal involved okay he's going legal all right oh, okay so this patrick summers who's known to start a little bit of a little bit of shiznit okay he said put in his stories tom 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 so let me get this straight you were cheating on ariana with raquel but cheating on raquel with my bestie julia got it what so Julia, Julia, who the frick is Julia? Like we, we don't know. Okay. Renee sent me a link. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to plug it in here and see if we can. Okay. I got to see how I can copy this. Oh, I have to go to my, that's one thing like YouTube has to be better with syncing up with, um, yeah, YouTube or no YouTube with StreamYard. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. So meow. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. What would I do without my mods? I don't know. I would just suffer. <laughs> I'd suffer so bad, Lori. I'm telling you. All right. Surround yourself <laughs> with people who are way, way smarter than you because. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I do. Which, yeah. I mean, I, hard to find, you know, because we're so. Genius, we're, but, we're, uh, we're so intelligent. We're so smart. We're talking about this. But listen, this is, I had someone comment like, I wish people would get this passionate about real issues. Yeah, me too. Me too. Not yeah. today though. Okay, not today. I do get passionate about real issues. And right yeah. now this is just a real issue. We can't always be like, the planet's dying. Sometimes I have to be like, oh, my favorite TV show is blowing up. Yeah, but also, you know, like in that, in that token, it's like, there's nothing I can do. You know, like I, like yeah. I donate, I, you know, I call, I do stuff. There's nothing I can, more I can do to, you know, to, to fix those situations. What I can do here is I can have impotent rage regarding uh, two people I don't know 
and I can make I can make a nasty Yelp review on one of their restaurants. So that's what I can do. Okay. So <laughs> let me have my things. Yeah. Let me have it. Sometimes you just want this kind of drama mess. And yeah. you know, I think a lot of people too can relate to this because it has to do with relationships and romantic relationships gone wrong. So again, take this with a grain of salt. It might have already been debunked, but as Patrick Summers accuses liar Tom Sandoval of cheating on Raquel Levis, uh Levis, whatever her name is, with his best friend. Um, oh, Julia. Okay. West Hollywood, California. Tom Sandoval cheating scandal seems to be taking a murky turn. Ever since news broke that he cheated on Ariana Maddox, the internet has been digging deeper into his life to unearth more dirt. Now the entire fandom is on Ariana's side and gossiping against Tom. Let us know in the chat. Is anyone team Tom? Anyone team Tom? Let us know. Anyone team Raquel? Feel free to put in the chat. We won't judge you. We'll judge you, but silently. Very silently. Yeah, it'll just be in my head, but also through my eyes, because I'll, yep. I'll definitely give you one of like... But... This is a safe place. This is a yeah. semi. This is a. This, this is, is a safe, safe ish. Safe ish. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, less dangerous than violence. That's what this is. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just look. Another shocking revelation about the Vanderpump Rules star has surfaced on the internet. It has now been revealed that Tom, not only cheated on Ariana with Raquel, but also cheated on Rachel with a woman named Julia. Julia Gulia, uh, marketing manager. Peter Summers, oh, marketing, okay, called out Tom on social media for cheating on Rachel with his best friend. Read on. No, you read it for me. You tell me. So they posted that thing like, hey, you cheat with my friend. And then <laughs> allegedly he then did a screen recording because you can't just do a screen grab. You have to record it of yeah. their message exchange, their alleged message, message exchange. Oh, okay. Where yeah. it, he then says um, – uh, he messages something and he says, I find it funny that after all this, you were messing around with Julia at the same time. And then it's scary how good of a liar you are. This is Patrick talking to Tom, allegedly. Would be a shame if I said something. And then Sandy Butt says, Patrick, I don't want any problems. I will text Julia privately with an apology. I'm sorry. And then Patrick thumbs up it. Okay. And then Patrick says, as you should, it's embarrassing for you and your reputation. But K with a thumbs up. <laughs> Okay, and then he posts it. Patrick does, and he says, "I'll take the low road, Tom Sandy Butt." And then, uh, what else happened? Oh, uh, and then he's like, uh, "Tom Sandy Butt was like, I don't need this to be dealing with this shit right now, okay? Because it's become unsafe for my family." I feel like Meredith. Do you watch Real Housewives of Salt Lake City? Yes. When she's like, "My family, me and Salt, and my family, it's my family." <laughs> So I have to go with my family. That's what he's doing, okay? He's saying his family. Um, it's kind of unsafe. I said it would text Julia. And then Patrick says, I'm good. It's all the lies you told her for me. I want to marry you, but wouldn't even date her. And then after the abortion <gasps> thing, what? you ghosting her for weeks. But then to find out on top of all that, you were cheating. You're an effing loser. And I will be prancing around doing a press tour. Bye. And then Sandoval allegedly said, legal team in contact shortly. That's all he wrote. Legal team will be in contact shortly. <laughs> well, look. It, it, I think somebody had posted that. I think it has been debunked. Okay. Which, you know. Uh, Thankfully. Because that's yeah, horrific. That'd be horrific. But. I mean, let's be honest. If let's say Raquel, the death, the dust settles, and Raquel and uh, Rachel and and Sandy Butt decide that they're going to um, try and make it work. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that he will eventually cheat on her, the way that he's cheated on. You know, How if you he hasn't, ha if he How hasn't already. Well, yeah. that's what some people are saying. I'd love your opinion on this, Lori, and I'd love you guys in the chat too. Um, they're saying, well didn't Tom cheat on Kristen with Ariana? So wouldn't Ariana expect this? Now I went back to try to remember all that information. Um, and it seems like Tom and Kristen were just cheating on each other. Like they were just a really bad relationship. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if we ever were, were we given like factual evidence that that happened? Um, and maybe no. it did, but what, what, What's your thought when people are like, oh, well, I mean, well, how you get them? How you lose them? 
I I mean they always say like the the best way to to discern future uh, at, uh behavior is to look at past behavior. Mm-hmm. So I mean you can say that, but however, you know context con- context is key in this. Where Kristen and, and Sandoval like were on the outs, like they hated each other. They were like they were not a happy couple, right? And mm-hmm. so um. And I think that's very different than, look, it's not ideal, but I think it's different than Ariana and Sandoval, where the way that it's being portrayed and the way that we sort of see it is that they didn't really seem like they were on the outs, right? They, she was supporting him in his, uh, you know, terrible band. She, you know, they were, they did a, a cocktail book together, you know, but he, you know, so it's just like, to me, it it's completely different because you know, he, he took what was a, a a great relationship that had, that seemed like it had a solid foundation, which we now know it, it probably didn't, but you know, with a woman who has a future, has goals, has ideas, has, you know, the means of making it possible and wants to share that life with you and you throw it down the drain for, you know, Rachel who, you know, has no, no plans, no idea what she wants to do, you know, (laughs) is going to teach, children which was like so noble it was like oh we work with disabled kids you're like oh my god you're too good for this world that's amazing and then it's like where's the disabled kids now yeah she's not and also i will say this i work with uh i work in special education she would not last half a second she would (laughs) she would walk in and she'd be like oh i have to sit in a chair all right i'm gonna go (laughs) 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 like it would be the least least like uh you know job ending thing that would happen where she'd be like uh okay like my butt hurts on this chair oh and, you it's know. Just like i don't have enough padding on it yeah you guys yeah. have like can someone with a bigger butt sit yeah and then i sit on their lap and meanwhile there's like a kid in the corner that's just like throwing stuff <laughs> in the classroom it's like uh okay you're just gonna have you're gonna have that kind of day all right <laughs> like yeah and she's like um i have this diet coke but like i usually always get a straw because I don't want to mess up my lipstick, but you guys, I mean, I brought my own thankfully, but you guys didn't have any, I can't live like this. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck the turtles. <laughs> um, I think that too. And I think that there's like people are saying, and like Kirsten's saying, so they definitely hooked up in my opinion, but that was 10 years ago. Kirsten is also a wild animal <laughs> and she beats people. She said. <laughs> yeah. And there's a difference between what you do in those 20 party years when you're both in the 20 party years and you're just like, eh, and then apparently they were like Kristen and, you know, uh, Sandoval were cheating on each other. And then there was a kiss in a pool and that was the Ariana big hookup and they had hung out and he probably did, did like her compared to an adult relationship where you buy a home and you're putting it out there for everyone. You've branded it to the point where you're selling items based yeah. on the fact that you two have this bond in this relationship and you're true to one another, not saying you can never break up, but you want to see a breakup that's a little more amicable, a little bit more fair where you don't have to like each other, but please don't bang a mutual friend inside the home for seven months before. Yeah. And then, and then there's a new story out saying they had planned to tell Ariana. Oh, so they just missed it. But you, oh, know, you had yeah. since July and it's since March. So, yeah. It's March so that's, now. How many months is that? I'm not good at math. Yeah. But that's almost a year. So there, no. that's bullshit. And, and mm-hmm. I will say this though, you know, to their point that they should have known this was going to happen. You know, he has not broken up with anyone really. He, he's sort of just been, he's just sort of things have ended. Yep. So he's never had to like, go like, Oh, I break up. He, you know, he was cheating on her, her, she was cheating on him. They just, they ended, they got in a huge fight and they ended. And I think, so, you know, he probably has been wanting to break up or, at least in maybe like, let's say in the last year, at least the last year he's wanted to break up with her. And instead of just saying, I want to break up with you, he goes and he finds another relationship. And that, so yeah. that, I mean, that does go with what he has done in the past, but it's just like, you know, you would think that he would have been like, Oh, this is, you know, this is a, a relationship where I'm, I'd have to see this person a lot. You know, I, we have had good time. She has helped me with a lot of stuff. I want to be respectful and be like, Hey, you know, although I do love you, I am no longer in love with you, you know? Mm -hmm. And he did none of that. He did none of that. Instead, he basically tried to make a fool out of her. 
Yeah. And that does not sit well. And that does not sit well when your whole brand exists on your likability, much like the Royals, the monarchy, when your brand exists on you being likable for you to be yes. able to sell things and be the face of things and do the handshakes um, at, instead of the hand jobs at the uh, restaurants you own, then there's going to be an issue there. So he failed at that terribly. But yeah, I do think there's there, there's a difference between what happened then and now. Um, I'm sure Ariana's like, oh, I mean, we were all like drunken fools. Not that they're all still not drinking heavily and partying, but uh, yeah. you know, back then and everyone was swapping and this, I mean, at this point they've all slept with each other somehow through one sleeping with one sleep. Cause if we think about it, let's just, so Jackson Stassi. Yeah. Okay. They were, yeah, they were together, but also Jackson, Kristen, but also Jackson. Yeah. And then Jackson, Brittany. Yeah. Okay. And okay. then Kristen and, um, we Sandoval. need a map. Kristen Sandy and Sandoval. And Sandy, yeah. Sandy, but, and then Sandy, but and Ariana. And then yeah. Sandy Button, Raquel, and then Raquel and James. Yeah. And then and Raquel then, and Schwartz, tongue and, sex. And Raquel stuff. and James and Lala. James and Lala, Lala and Jax, allegedly. Yeah. So that adds in the Stasi aspect. Some people say Katie, Katie, Peter, Peter, all of them. I feel like he dated yeah. Ponytail Peter, Pirates to the Caribbean Peter. I think he yeah. dated everybody. Well, I, as we realized, I think what what was it like three or four episodes ago? He just he just finally had an epiphany that Lisa Vanderpump yelled at him that he can't date a staff. So he just he just realized that that he can't yes. he shouldn't be dating his staff. So you know, I mean, I, I'm sure he dated all of them. <laughs> and I think yeah, which always surprises me because I'm like, I mean, Peter, uh, I can see. You know, I can see the Pirates of the Caribbean, but there's always the really, and he's very nice. I've went to Sir, and he's 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 been there almost every time I've went. But there's always the really tight pit. Like Siri, I'm okay. She's just always trying to help me, which is really oh nice. But she's finding things for my pits. But he's always pitting out everything. Yeah. So I feel like he's gonna put his arm around you, and you're gonna be like, oh my god, to get like a sweat shower. Like, oh yeah. It's like you're you, you need to figure that out, man. You're a full adult now. You know, like there needs, and, you need to figure that out. Right. And what yeah. is it with maybe secret strong enough for a man, but page balance for a woman, maybe switch it over to secret. Yeah. Um, Cause the secret is you won't get that. Or go to wet. a doctor or, you know, reinforce your pits. Just you can something. get Botox in your pits. If yeah. you have I had a friend that had that. Now I'm, I'm a sweaty gal. I just, I'm a Midwestern sweaty gal. That's just how I am. I run oh, yeah. hot okay, in the land of the cold, but um, so I get it. But I also wonder what, because when you see Peter and he's dating, dating Rachel briefly this season, he is very just a, you know, and you're like, is that, was that his energy the whole time? Like, what does he bring to the table? Yeah. Where's the charisma? He doesn't bring anything to the, I mean, why he's dating these younger women. That's why he doesn't bring anything to the table. Yeah. Is uh oh we totally forgot some uh Kristen just po pointed out James and Kristen. Yeah. James and Kristen. So yeah. Uh, and I guarantee oh Jane or Jax and uh so Jax is pretty much banged everyone. Jax and Faith. Did Faith oh, yeah. and James? I, I don't, don't know that far back. And who knows with Schwartz and them? Cause I feel like Schwartz and Sandoval have gotten such a good edit for so long and have been a favorite. And especially since they're now a vested interest with Vanderpump who, yeah. you know, that's her show. Um, so what we will see if we're, tr they're, they're truly exposed. Yeah. Well, my fear is, is do you think that they'll keep Ariana on the show? Because she has, she, Van Lisa has to keep Tom Tom on. They have to keep Ariana because now I want to yeah. watch her redemption tour. I want to watch Ariana. Lala said it best. Lala was going ham in her stories and stuff and say what you will about Lala. And I've said a lot of stuff because I don't agree with a lot of what she says. And I think she can be very hypocritical and she thinks she's the Tupac of Utah. And there's a lot of issues there, but I will say I would like her to drag them and you know she thinks she's good at dragging so let her try you know yeah. um well, you know, she's, she, she was, she's the best out of the whole group you know like she, yeah yeah you know when she's like yeah. how dare you talk about my my man my man's a good man and then and then the next season's like he was the new harvey weinstein you're like how did we 
But yeah. he used to have you do role play. He used, to, he used to have you do role play where you would be a woman, an actress who needed a part. Yes. So the yeah. exact thing he's now getting accused for with me, he's getting me tooed on. You guys were doing it for, for funsies. So if my <laughs> husband was like, hey, let's role play this thing that's, you know, illegal and could bring down my, my business, I wouldn't be like, yeah. You know, yeah. and I also wouldn't be surprised then it when he actually does do that and starts to get brought down. So I think Lala yeah. likes to paint herself. And I've proven as, that it sexually turns me on. But yeah, but it's just you. But it's, it's just you. Repulsive. Being. Yeah. Repulsive. How could he do this? And and yeah. you know, remember she got that movie, The Row or whatever. So, but as far as Lala goes, you know, I am here for her dragging them some and for having Ariana's back. Please, please. Yes. Um, and so she has just been coming out like, you know, she already hates them because the Toms, yeah, um, because for they, years they've been calling out her BS. So now she gets to call out their BS. But yeah. the thing is, you all still have a lot of BS among yeah. you guys. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. what still um, existed or exists there. So Lala's getting her hair done. She was like, mm, my mom's mad at me, but I'm still going to get it. I'm going to tell you all. I can't wait. I'm going to eat so well when I see you. I'm going to yeah. eat so well. I'm going to snatch you all up. Like she just does. She yeah. just does a lot. She does a lot, but she's been watching a lot of RuPaul's drag race. I feel like, cause she's constantly like using, like you're saying, she's yeah. using the hand movements and stuff. With her and nails. It's... She's like, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm serious about this. I have two broken nails and I haven't went and got a new manicure because I'm like, well, uh, I, I mean, if I get a pedicure, I got my phone to keep up on the scandal. But if I'm getting the manicure, I can do it on one phone. Yeah. And... Oh, I've been too busy. Yeah, I've been too you busy. gotta learn how to text with your feet if you're gonna do that. Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> um, Jenny says, "Oh, I just recognized Lori's voice. Doesn't she cover a lot of Hank and Skank?" Mm, I don't know what that. Sorry, it might be somebody oh, else. Do you have an OnlyFans? That sounds like an OnlyFans. <laughs> I... <laughs> did you just get outed, Lori? I wish Hank I had. I did have an idea. I did have an idea for an OnlyFans. It was just uh, me taking. <laughs> <laughs> me with fully nude and then people would pay me to put my clothes back on so that <laughs> oh, you know what I'll, I'll, I'll i'm gonna take that idea too i'm gonna do that too i also i have an only fans idea um that ever since i learned what a, a femme or a, a fin dom is that's yeah. what i want to do what is it you know what that is no fin dom just what i think it is is um a dominatrix that basically tells men where they have to spend their money and you just like yes. put them down. You'd be like, bitch, you better, you're poor. You better spend your money. You better buy, you know, you better buy me Chick-fil-A and then we'll head down to the Kate Spade outlet and you better bring money for Doc Martens, bitch. You know, like I yes. am ready. Like you got to get me the hundred dollar Charlotte Tilbury facial cream. Weak ass. I would love that. Little penis man. You know, and then <laughs> they're like, yes, yes, dominatrix. And I'm like, yeah, give me more money. I would love that. Yeah, I got to be daddy. honest. I do get aggressive with my Amazon cart. So I feel like I'd be wonderful with that. I'd be like, yeah, you fucking go into that cart. You dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you Harry and Megan. Oh no. They're called Hank and Skank. Oh no. See, I'm not a big Harry. I'm not a big Harry and Megan fan. I feel like they're sort of like, um, the Brittany and Jacks of the, <laughs> of the Royal family. <laughs> Like, I feel like they're just sort of like, they're always like, I called it. I said, you know, I told the truth. And it's like, no, no. Like, <laughs> and I am a big fan. I, I get people will come in when I, when the times I have talked about it, I, I'm, I'm almost, I'm finished with the spare. I've been, it's been on audible oh. with me for a while. I love Prince Harry. I do love myself. Some Meghan Markle people, you know, have very strong opinions about it, but you know, if, but Hank and Skank, I mean, that's. Meghan Markle is just not a skank. She's just so, she's so great. But I don't want to digress too far, but I get it. Not everybody. Yeah. I'm not Ooh. a huge fan, but I will say that my, uh, my, my uh, aunt and is a huge, she's, she just finished the spare. She's huge. She's a huge fan. She, um, she's not a fan of uh, the king and the new king and queen. Oh, Camilla. And, 
and yeah. Charles. Mm-hmm. And she just, sh- she, a couple of days ago, shared an article with me, which was that, and she just, you know, she's not a very good texter. And she shared an article with me, like the laughing emojis. And I knew it took her a while to figure out how to do that. And she, de- she deliberately wanted to do that because she loved the fact that it's an article about how all these uh, music groups have uh, declined to sing at uh, his coronation. Yes, I yeah. saw that. Cause it was like, you know, Adele, she's like, no. Yeah. Harry Styles. I don't have enough big pants, you know, to yeah, colorful yeah. pants. I yeah. just, I'm running out of wide leg colorful yeah, pants. Yeah, my jumpers are in the wash this <laughs> week. I don't have time. Sorry. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> what is Harry's? So Harry Styles is just now, he's not non-binary. He's not, he doesn't consider himself queer. He just is a, or does he, or is he poly or pan? No, I, I think he's just a cis white man but really honestly harry styles i mean i could go on a whole rant i feel like harry styles has sort of taken billy porter's steam billy porter is this very fashionable black gay man who's like he's been billy in porter because yeah. he was in pose and yeah. american horror story yes he's a phenomenal mm-hmm. actor he's just great and he sort of has been doing a lot of gender he's for the longest time has shown up to award shows and dresses has, has done a lot of like really like he's he's been a a, a really great person in taking a stand in that arena and then freaking harry styles walks in and wears like a trash bag and everybody's like oh he's so uh he's so gender fluid i'm so he's i'm so proud of him he's you know he's taken the world by storm he's showing his gender fluidity and it's like no he's still a straight white man he just that's what i know. thought with his like ex- ex- exception speech like wasn't he the one that's like i never thought someone like me or was that somebody else Am no, it was it was him. There was also Sam Smith, I think, a couple years ago, had said that he was like the first non non binary or first like gay person to win an award, and it wasn't true. It was like you know there have been many other people who've won this award. So he said, <laughs> yeah. So Sam Smith got a little hot water for that, but like, but yeah, but like hairstyle, yeah. It was like what you didn't think a straight white man would win an award? Like it's just you know. <laughs> Who just decides to wear flared uh, pants, like wide legged yeah. pants with a high waist? Justin Timberlake did that on uh, with uh, Jessica Biel like a year or two ago on a um, on a red carpet. And we all were like, "Oh, yeah." Okay. It was like he he uh, just he just discovered Big Bud Press, which I love. Big Bud Press, um, which is a, a a company that sells you know really fun clothes that are like gender fluid and like oh, wide nice. legs. Like I'm into that kind of stuff as well, but it's not like you discovered it. It's like you, you know, yeah. reinvented the wheel there, Harry. So yeah. uh, calm exactly. it down. I like that you're, you know, you're just like, you know, there's no, no gender on my clothes. I can wear whatever I feel like. I love that. Good, good, good. Good for but, him. But yeah, but, but at the same time, you're not going like, to get an award you know, for it. <laughs> you, you're not breaking, you're not breaking the mold. You know, <laughs> there's been many people who've done it before you. Yeah, exactly. So. Justice for Billy Porter and justice um, for Ariana. Um, on the last little thing I wanted to discuss. So, Miranda has been coming in with some good facts. And Miranda said Tom and Rachel spent Christmas together in St. Louis where he's from. That is a lie, right? Do we have a source for that? Oh I got to look that up. Because that's the case. Um, everything I said is a fucking lie. And I'm yeah. not ever ready to make nice. Okay? The chicks and me, I'm going to put no. them in the category they poured George Bush Sr. in. And that's... The- yeah, Ariana should be blasting. Did you listen to the new Chicks album? I actually really like it. No. And they have a song called Gaslighter, which is really great, which is about her. Can you sing so a this, the uh oh boy. I'll sing it like Tom Sandoval. <laughs> <don't>... Gaslighter! <laughs> Denier! <laughs> Gaslighter! <laughs> Do everything to get us off fire! <laughs> yeah! It's like a it's like a soft jazz song. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It, no, it's a, but this would be a good song for this. Is uh, you know, so I yeah, I mean, look, here's the thing. They look, I I want love people to feel love. I want people to be in love. I want them to be happy. I genuinely want that. But you except a couple people. I there's a couple people I don't oh. want to ever find love. I have a list. Oh. But go uh, ahead. That was beautiful. I love it. But yeah, I do have a list. <laughs> I'm, I'm a more angry person. I'm trying for this first time to be more <laughs> lovely. And then next time I'll be like, you you're, know, very I mean, you're very lovely. You're very lovely. 
<laughs> and then this next time I'll be like, I don't like Ben Affleck, and I'm upset that J Lo took him back. Um, so, <laughs> do you not like him? I it, there's something about him I don't like, and I well, okay, not something. I'll tell you what it is. He lied about his back tattoo when he when they got the picture of the beach where on him and the beach where they saw his back tattoo. He lied oh, and said it next? was for a film. Right. And they had and and then the reports came out and said, no, that's a real tattoo. And it was like, why did you lie? Like, why? Why did you lie about that? That makes no sense. And so ever since then, I've just been like, I'm not a fan. And oh. uh, mm. I was hoping that um, J -Lo I like your would, standards. You're like yeah. one lie about a shitty tattoo. Done. You're done, done son. You're done. 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 I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, Melissa says Gaslighter is such a good song. And Aaron makes a great point. Yeah. Like Prince and David Bowie didn't exist. Like they walked so you could skip in your jumpsuit. Like, yes. they, you know, like show some damn respect to the greats. Not that Harry will never be a great. I don't know. Maybe he will. You know, maybe he will. I mean, look, he's still young. Well, not, not better than mm. Prince. I mean, nobody's going to be no, better than God, Prince. No. You got to no. play like every instrument and just be the best at everything. He was like and also four foot five and he made like yeah. everyone fall in love with him. Like, yeah. And no... he gave everybody and he was... lady boners, man boners, yeah. like, and he's from Minnesota. Like you just don't get any better than that. Yeah. And I'm from Minnesota. So that's why. Okay. So this is, I'm on the Reddit, the Vanderpump Rules Reddit. Shout out to them, Miranda, a summary of verified tea. Are we ready for this? I mean, we're already two hours in Lori. I know I got to get, <laughs> I didn't say that this is going to be an all nighter. So no, we do have I'm to close glad. this up. And I, I know you have a life and a fiance who's probably I, like, when is this bitch done talking? I put a bucket, <laughs> I put a bucket under my seat. I could be here for hours. So we, <laughs> let's do this. There are certain YouTubers. Okay. Lori, that they do 16 hour streams and somehow never pee. And you're like, where, where is it going? But you can get one of them lady catheters maybe <laughs> that you can wear to the foosball game okay here's the summary of very ver verified tea okay allegedly okay. we don't know if any of this is true we don't care we're speculating okay i posted a bunch of tidbits in different threads and i figured it would be good to make one post about what i know for sure oh for sure a lot of this probably repeat information since we all have been glued to this sub uh, but this has been going on a full blown affair. And this is from two hours ago. Okay. Um, since at least last summer. Yep. We know that they would wear full disguises and go on dates. Somebody had a picture of them, her dressed as like a sailor moon, I think, and him just dressed as himself. But he probably thought that was a costume because his ego's like, you're Tom Sandoval. So you're going to dress as Tom Sandoval. Um, Ariana found out at Tom's show this week, his phone fell out of his pocket and she went to pick it up for him. So he didn't step on it or lose it. While she had it, and this is, I think, the bathroom thing, she was scrolling, scrolling, scrolling through and found a screen recording of Tom on FaceTime with Raquel. She was doing naughty things to herself. Finger bang, bang. Ariana freaked out, and everyone at the show apparently found out at the time. The verdict's still out whether Schwartz knew. He knew. Ariana knew Sheena was with Raquel as they were filming Watch What Happens Live. Ariana called Sheena and filled her in but was mostly looking for Raquel to ask her what the hell was going on. Sheena started yelling at Raquel, asking how she could do this. She then threw Raquel's phone into the street. Sheena did. Um, threw her into a brick wall. I mean, I heard Sheena punched her, but I didn't hear this brick wall theory. She threw, what is she, the Hulk? Sheena, don't Seriously. piss Sheena off. Seriously. You know, because I like took... I like stood next to Sheena, talked to Sheena. She's tiny, like tiny, tiny. Really? So, oh, okay. Well, maybe she's oh. all core, you know? She, <laughs> it is about your core as you get yeah. older. And she does have Brock and he's a trainer. So maybe he's taught yeah. her, you know, bend your knees, you know? Yeah. I mean, when all that energy not being with his kids has really helped play. <laughs> is that still like a thing? It's yeah. just not. I think, oh, yeah. Oh my God. Oh, God bless. Um. Okay. So, then threw her into a brick wall and punched her in the face, leaving a bruise and a scratch. And this is where Charlie from this season and uh, there's, there's so much like we didn't even get to get into because there's just so much popping out by the second. Charlie and Raquel's sister got into it on Twitter to the point where wow. Ra Rachel's sister was like, well, I don't condone violence. And Charlie's like, well, I do. You dumb see you next Tuesday. Get the hell off my page. And have your sister take some accountability or something. I'm wow. paraphrasing, but I was like, yeah, I love Charlie. I yeah. just think he's I like her energy. Yeah. She could, she could, she could disappoint us all and sleep with Ken and leave Lisa Vanderpump devastated or relieved. 
that yes. someone is sleeping with Ken. You know, I I don't think I don't think Lisa would care. I think she'd be like, ah. Right. She's yeah. like, eh, yeah, I yeah. got all this pink stuff. I'll just look yeah. at it. You guys yeah. go do what you're gonna do. Oh, Ken's done. I that's normally how long it takes. Bye, Charlie. Yeah. See you next week. Yeah. You know, yeah. it, it'd yeah. be a favor, really. Exactly. Okay. According to my mom, at that stage of marriage, you're just you're on different floors of the house and you're just, hey, buddy, you know, roomies. Um, yeah. Sheena started yelling at Raquel, asking how she could do this. She then threw Raquel's phone, or did this onto the street and into a brick wall, so dramatic, and punched her in the face, leaving a bruise with a scratch above her eyebrow. Oh, not her eyebrow. Ooh, I wonder if she, like, what if Sheena accidentally fixed Raquel's nose? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that's all I needed was a good punch to the face. And look yeah, I can finally breathe. <laughs> Um, oh, guys, because remember that big storyline? I just didn't want to lie anymore that James bumped my nose. <laughs> what was that? I love how, how she, she, she like, lasted yeah. on the show that long. Oh my god! Yeah, I was so shocked that they kept her on. To be honest with you, I thought that they were totally gonna. Well, it turns out now, you know, good they did. But yeah, she. <laughs> I wanted the redemption arc, but not this. But no. But what was that story? James bumped her nose. I think he went in for a kiss and he bumped her nose. Accidentally bumped her nose. Yeah. Okay. That there's okay. Mm, mm, okay. <laughs> um the camera crew rushed to start filming. Oh, grab Andy and a producer. Let's go. Tom and Raquel or Rachel spent Christmas together in St. Louis. Okay. That's bullet pointed, but how how is that proof? That's Where, crazy. Yeah. Can I get a picture? Do you, you think there would how do be we like know? them by what is in St. Louis? That arch? Yeah, the art, the St. Louis Arch. What else is it known for? I'm sure lots of things. The Cardinals. Maybe they were at a Cardinals game, not at they Christmas. Could have been, they could have been in a Cardinals game. Yeah, they could have been like, she could have caught a ball or something. She was like, oh, yeah. oh my nose. And she caught it with her nose yeah, again. She caught it with her nose. Everything's... And then she's like, it's ruined again. <laughs> yeah, it's always it's always back and forth. It's never going to be full, fully fixed. Um, I mean, I what do you want to bet that they just literally like you know hunkered down at, at his parents house and didn't and he snuck her there yeah and he got like an airbnb and she was like i'll just wait here and she's yeah. like it's been four days and i haven't had any food and i've been snowed in but he just i like the way he looks at me and he smiles yeah and he seems happy to be with me and you're like yeah i brought my surfboard to practice for the to, big pra to practice <laughs> standing on it uh and then she like fell into a door oh my nose <laughs> And then Tom's like, that's a snowboard. <laughs> and she's yeah, like, yeah. oh. Uh, okay. Tom, you always, you're smart. You always <laughs> tell me all the fun stuff. You're great. You have secret pants. And I like your penis. Okay. Don't go outside. <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer Tom. the phone. I'm going to take your phone. Yeah. Well, no, I'm going to leave it so you can FaceTime me your vagina. But other than that, nothing else. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, the lightning bolt necklaces are a hundred percent a thing. We did see them on both of them. Tom uh, and Raquel were together today. <gasps> it's unclear if they were filming or not. Yeah, we heard they were filming, and she was allegedly breaking up with them. Tom literally feels no remorse. <laughs> Who is this person? He literally <laughs> feels no remorse and is trying to play the victim. Well, yeah, I, I bet he is trying to play the victim. He is yeah. saying they've been having problems for years, just like you were saying, Laurie. And due to Ariana's depression, oh yeah, nobody likes a depressed bitch, you know. <laughs> like it's yeah. like ebbs and flows, man. You know, yeah. like, not all Seriously. the vaginas are going to be smiling all the time. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it's going to frown. Sometimes it's going to cry. Also, also, you know what doesn't help her depression? You carrying on a seventh month long <laughs> affair like that. I guarantee that's not going to help her. She's not going to be like, well, let me throw out the medication. <laughs> this is the best thing for me. I love that there's always problematic dudes always use that excuse. Well, she was never in a good mood. She's always fucking depressed. Well, bro, yeah. she's got hormones raging. She's bleeding seven, five, three to seven days out of the month. She's dealing yeah. with you. You know, you're probably not taking her mental health seriously. I mean, we, ugh. He's like, she should be smiling, you know? Yeah. She's with a star. Um, it's never a good time. Also, like, again, I, going back to it, I want, look, if Raquel and Tom are truly in love, which I doubt they are. But I want that to work out. I want them to be overall to be happy. The way you don't go about doing that is keeping it a secret and then sharing necklaces with each other and then not telling somebody who you used to care for. Like that exactly. is awful. And it's so awful. it's just, it's just and like still yeah. hanging out as a threesome, like the three of them yeah. hanging out her thinking we're supporting Raquel. We're bringing her into the circle. We're a good friend to her. Yeah. We're watching her surf on wood, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
on wood on wood. Uh, so yeah, I mean, and then have to be where you have to then go from being a couple to then now he's with, now he has to pretend like he's with Ariana and you have to justify that to yourself. And it's just like, you know, come on. Come on, bro. Piece of crap. Okay. Tom, I love this part. Again, I have to read it. Tom literally feels no remorse and is trying to play the victim. He's saying he's having problems for years due to Ariana's depression. She's not in a good mood. Her grandmother and her dog there was never a good time to end it. Oh, so she had depression. Then that pesky old grandma had to come visit. And then the dog was there. What did the dog have to do with it? She, I don't know. I don't get the. You couldn't break up with her in front of the dog? No. <laughs> you know what? That would be in LA people, though. Because in California, I love dogs. I love animals. I love my cat. I do treat her like a person. But that is the one place where if you told someone, I think my breakup has emotionally affected my dog to a way that he has severe depression and I put him on antidepressants and I have a therapist with him and a Reiki that comes in and feels his energy and auras until he gets well, we would be like, Thank God you're doing the right thing. Thank God. Yeah. Oh, Thank God. That's great. Yeah. That's great. That's if we so can great. I got him anyway. into like a therapeutic painting class where he takes yeah. his little paws and he puts it in the paint and then he spells out for me. But I mean, obviously he doesn't know letters, but he he knows what he's saying and I yeah. understand him. So when he walks across it, it says, help me, mommy. I feel like there is nothing out there and I live in an endless void. And then that yeah. was like, oh my God. And then oh we my God. put and crystals. You know- I give um, him I give him a palette of colors and he always chooses the darkest colors and it's just like <laughs> I feel like he's screaming out to me that he he yeah. needs he needs something he needs help and I, you know I put him on lorazepam um and it's a low he gained a lot of weight but I still love him weight. he's really he's, fat now but I still really love fat. him <laughs> and now he's got body issue image body image issues and I'm just like you know what you're my little soldier all right you <laughs> you're my little soldier yeah there he was right next to the sky blue and the dark blue, and he always walked into the dark blue. Yeah, um, oh, Timothy, thank you for clarifying. Timothy Zona said, I think that means that her grandma and her dog oh, passed away. Oh, those well, that inconsiderate would make more sense. pieces. How dare her grandma and her dog pass away when Schwartz, or not Schwartz, Sandy Butt is trying to tell her that he's been cheating on her with one of her very close friends since August. That is just Trey. Also, her, her grandmother and her dog passed away, I feel like, more than seven months ago you know like you could have ended it you could have said like you know like hey it's not working out not like at the funeral but yeah you know like like, not as you're like at the wake you're over the cast you're like oh god this is uh ariana you okay Um, no it's my grandma we were really close oh yeah i know that's uh but they got okay i gotta go because they got monster trucks remember that it was like her 30th birthday he's like there's monster trucks and um i had sex with uh, Raquel, okay, bye. All right, bye. Uh, yeah. Love uh, you. I'm always going to be here for you, except for that time I'm not here for you. Yeah, when I'm banging your friend. But other than I that, do, I'm going to be here. I do that with my fiance when I buy something that's a, a really expensive that I don't need. Where I'll be like, "Hey, babe, I got those hooks that you wanted for the bathroom to put our towels on, but then I also bought an extra microphone. So bye. I'm going to see you later. <laughs> I gotta go." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a perfect way to do it. I'll just tell yeah. my husband straight out that something I wanted, like shoes or something. You know those Doc Martens you you really liked for me? No, the ones I showed you for me and you said those are cute? Oh, I think so. I got them because, you know, I know yeah. he wanted me to have them. And he's like, but you already have enough Doc Martens. Like, you can never have enough Doc Martens. I don't know. Oh, yeah. She where... she has so many shoes. And I anytime I point out that she has enough shoes, she's like, I feel like you just don't understand me. <laughs> Lori, you need to understand her. I I'm just like I can this has been a roller coaster ride of emotions. I mean, <laughs> you can never have you can never have enough. Okay. Um, so uh, he feels no emotion. Time to end it. Her grandma and her dog selfishly died. Um, their biggest concern is Coachella. <laughs> of course it is. That's so LA. Oh it makes me want to just never just drive vomit on the tent again. Just they're the worst and- people. I want to go to Utah with Alice and just forget this ever existed. Okay. So their biggest concern is Coachella. And now I live by Coachella and I've never been. And my friends um, sometimes go and I'm like, and my friends are, you know, they're not like, oh, we're going to like drop E and 
not wear bras and our nipples are out, which is fine. But like, yeah. I feel like we're past that age. So they just want to go and they'll like, just go for a little bit, you know? So I'm thinking like, maybe I could, but then they name the lineup and I'm like, who? What happened? Wasn't there a year Beyonce was there? Oh, that was 2018. Okay. Let me know when she's back. Yeah. Um, It's just so hot. It's really hot. Have you been? And I worked, I worked it. Uh, I used to work for K-Rock when I was younger. And oh God, uh, look at you, little Lori. I'm just K Rock. Hey guys, welcome back to K Rock with Lori. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't get to do that. I was just the person who would like stand in the booth when I was interning, and then they would, as soon as they'd stop, they'd be like, "You're listening to K- 106.7 K Rock," and then they'd go, "Okay, we're done," and be like, "Do you need something?" <laughs> I'm, just gonna, <laughs> I'm in the booth. I'm just here. I want to. Li- I want to watch. Um, that sounds like what I did. I worked at radio stations in uh, Minneapolis when I just when I got out of college, and then they would let me do like commercial reads, and I get so excited. They'd pull me from my little receptionist desk and be like, "Okay, read this." And I was like, "Okay, okay, okay." Zimmerman's paint, Zimmerman's paint. <laughs> Have you, honey? Did you see that our house is cracking? Was that good? Was that natural? Did I do it? Okay? Yeah. I was so excited to read. Okay, you're reading for 50 year old annoying wife because all wives are, and you are you want the house painted? Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's but an annoying thing. Your husband, that. obviously, uh-huh. he's way more fiscally responsible than you. Yeah. You're being a selfish bitch. Oh yeah, you live with the cracks, but you're not. Okay, so sell it. Like, all right. Honey, <laughs> hi. Um, sorry, I know you're busy with men, but could we fix our house? <laughs> yeah. See, I like how you went happy. It. I would have just gotten angry. I've been like, we need to get the house painted. <laughs> if you have, yeah, if, bitch. if you're a man, <laughs> you'll paint the freaking house. <laughs> Since you can't do it because your dick don't work. <laughs> yeah. I want to tell the whole neighborhood your dick doesn't work. <laughs> and that when that. <laughs> and your 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 son is not really your son. I had an affair with your best friend 20 years ago. You heighten that. Yeah. Great. Like, Thank you. Thank that's you. what we need. That's what we need. Oh, my God. Um. Yeah. Well, witness, you're right. I um, love how. Yeah. That's their biggest concern. Not the fallout. Okay. Not all this. That to me, honestly, that makes sense now that we see that response that he in the beginning, where we read his response, where people mm-hmm. were leaving bad reviews because they didn't think that this was going to happen. They didn't think they thought, oh, people are just going to see that we cheated and it's going to be fine and whatever. And that nobody, and they're like, what? People are angry. When did this happen? <laughs> what? Why? Why? <laughs> what would they be? We're going to Coachella. But I'm a um, singer. <laughs> I'm a singer. I'm like, I do covers that everybody loves, like Captain and Tennille, bro. Um, they're both very upset that they can't go this year because they fear they'll get ostracized. Yeah, Coachella's right around the corner. Um, they're planning to sell their tickets and go on a trip. Oh, how brave of them. Apparently, <laughs> everything that's been on Reddit so far is true in regard to speculation and things everyone's heard, including the post by Raquel's friend. <sighs> Oh my God. Um, NYC Girl Forever says, anyone noticed on the latest Us Weekly interview that Sandoval reached over and touched Schwartz's leg before he answered a question about Rachel? Schwartz 100% knew. There's yes. Lori, right? There's no yes. way. They no way. have each other's back. They're the true love always. They stand everything each other does. They cry for each other. He yeah. Knows. And also, like, you cannot, you cannot be on board with somebody who, what they're doing and still in them. Like, that's his best friend. You know, I don't condone it, but I'm just saying that, like, you know, he knew. He for sure knew. Like, there's no way. I made a prediction and I stand by it. Are you ready for my prediction? And then I'll let you make your prediction, Lori. You guys make some predictions in the chat of what you think is going to end up happening with this situation between Raquel or Rachel and Sandy Butt and then Ariana. Okay. Okay. So my prediction is things I know that have already happened. And if, 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 they, if they haven't already, they will happen in the future. Okay. I believe I pledge allegiance to the Bravo of the Vanderpump and of America. Okay. That there's been a threesome with the Toms. And Rachel, I just believe it. It, it could have been that. 
I smoochy here, smoochy there, handy here, handy there, you know, centipede. I don't know. I'm not cool. I'm not doing fun party sex stuff like the kids. Okay. I have a cat I'm trying to raise and a husband. All right. Tilly is here. I also believe, thank you. She agrees with me that Raquel, Rachel will become pregnant. Oh, I could see that. Uh, sooner than you think. I also believe that Ariana, just like I was going to say earlier, like Lala said, Ariana is so beautiful and so smart and so motivated and so vulnerable, all the good stuff. And she said, with an ass like that and a face like that, like, that's why she said on Watch Stephens Live, I want to get her out of that because she feels like she will thrive. Yes. She will be thriving. She is going to get a hotter guy who is on an HBO television show. Ooh. Oh, like, uh, 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 what's his name? Who's Alexander that? Skarsgård. Was he Ooh. ever on HBO? I think he was on, I, oh, he was on True Blood. No. Was that Alexander Skarsgård? Yeah, that was Alexander he, I think that was HBO. If yes. not, it was definitely Showtime. Or uh, Pedro Pascal or a Chris <gasps> Pine. Have you watched The Last of Us yet? I haven't started I can't, it. I can't watch it. The, this lady that I work with, she like literally came in like she still was crying from the night before. And she was like, The Last of Us is a really sad show. And I was like, I don't, I can't have that kind of. Uh, I thought it was about <laughs> zombies. I can't have that kind of tra travesty in my life right now. I guess it's like, it is about zombies, but I guess it's a really sad story. Well, I guess Walking Dead did make me cry a few times. Um, the first time I thought, spoiler alert, um, Carl was dead. I didn't care. He annoyed me. Oh, I... Second time I was like, mm, I was most sad with Glenn's passing. Yeah, I I didn't really watch a lot of when when uh, what's his when they killed his partner and like I think it was like the first season. Then I was like, all right, this is too much drama for me. So, oh, <laughs> that guy, he was sleeping yeah. with his wife, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was all, Carl. You know, he always said his son, that actor, because he was in Love Actually, too. I forget his name. But mm -hmm. there was this, someone did this compilation years ago. And me and my brother, we were watching Walking Dead at the time. It's probably 10 or so years ago. We'd send it back and forth to each other and just like pee our pants because it was just the actor Rick Grimes or whatever, whatever his name is, is the actor yeah. Rick from Walking Dead going, Carl, Carl. Like just the way yeah. he says his son's name, it was. Is too good. There's also a, a that's a, a fun one, and then my favorite TikTok of all time. Well, wh one of my favorite uh, vines of all time is that um, uh, Dexter actor who dies, and I want to say like the third, second, or third, or maybe it's the first season. He's the uh, detective who's like on to Dexter, and then he gets captured. Spoiler alert! Even though I've already told you basically all of it. <laughs> <You did laughs> spoiler season. alert! <laughs> after the spoiler. Yeah. Uh, you know when the they sink in the Titanic spoiler. Um, so, uh, but I uh, uh, so he gets so but he when he catches Dexter he goes surprise motherfucker and then there's this guy who like does all these he goes like French fries motherfucker. <laughs> so, I love it. Surprise love it so motherfucker. Much. And then the other one was just uh, all the times that Ice T explains the what's happening in the in Law and Order SVU back to the people. So so you mean to tell me? <laughs> you were at a park and someone followed you at the park and then pulled out a knife and then you found a body yeah next to a bag uh-huh yeah yeah that's it that's oh, exactly okay. it. so somebody i for, i didn't see who post, posted but said somebody said ariana will end up with a girl which i think would be great i actually mm -hmm. not a girl but i think maybe elliot spencer could be thrown into there he because he, you know he's he's got a, a glow up since he started transitioning Oh yes, Elliot. Not, yeah, not yes. Spencer. Sorry, Elliot Page. Sorry, oh, I, don't I was like, Who's Spencer. Spencer. I was like, sorry, maybe Elliot Page. Diana Spencer. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Queen or Princess Diana is originally because I'm like, oh my god, hot little couple. Yeah, Elliot because Page had a big glow very, up. Very yeah. talented. Yes. Cute. So, oh, I could see that, but um, yeah, I think there will be some, some women coming in yeah first which good for her you know yeah i mean so she's, your oats. Like, she's a bisexual woman and a lot of people want to bring up her uh lala going down on her but i think uh tom was there wasn't he, he was like in a car yeah. or something and like tom, a, here's, yeah. here's he the thing there. with bisexual relationships i'm not a bisexual but i have a lot of <laughs> 
it's like, I got a bisexual friend. You know, you're like those people, those like racist white people are like, I'm not being racist. I have a black friend. I'm not being homophobic. <laughs> I have a bisexual friend. Okay. Yeah. But I have a lot of bisexual friends because I'm a stand-up comedian in Los Angeles. And I'm sure, you know, like Lori knows, there's just a lot of bisexual women and um, their boyfriends, spoiler alert, they already know they're bisexual. And half the time the boyfriends are like, oh yeah, you can, you know, yeah. not all the boyfriends, but a lot of them no. are like, oh yeah, you can hook up with girls sometimes so well like that's... any yeah any relationship gay straight bisexual whatever there's always parameters for the for the relationship you know some people are more open that's yeah. what they thought ariana and tom were and tom but or ariana before the season was like we are not i'm not that cool we're not an open relationship so but people thought oh well isn't it open that she had lala go down on her well no because she said that from the jump i am a bisexual woman so there'll be men, women I'm attracted to. And I might, you know, hook up with a woman here and there. And Sandy butt was like, cool with me. Yeah. So, but she didn't say you can hook up with men, but yeah. if he would have brought that to the table and said, Hey, and she would agree to it. Then that's just like you said, the parameters of the relationship. Yeah. They're agreeing to it, which as we talk about that, my mom, Nana's in the chat and she says, Ariana will come out the winner. Rat chow <laughs> will be thrown out. <laughs> That's what Tam -tam I want. Club. That's what I want the name to be called now. Rachel. Rachel. Uh, yeah. A rat yeah. and ratchet. Mixed That's together. a good take. I, I, I kind of feel like I think Rachel will be the one to to be kicked off. I don't see her continuing in the show, to be honest with you, because she needs to like Ariana's great. Right. I think they're going to keep just to see, like you said, see her glow up. Um, They're going to keep Lala because they want to see Lala and Ariana kind of join be friends and join join teams and kind of destroy the tom toms and yeah. rachel is just really not needed anymore like, i don't so. think she's unfortunately yeah she's probably going to become i think her and tom will date i just have this theory if this pr thing doesn't end up happening where she says that he violated her um and recorded her without her consent um if that is a lie uh, and that's just you know gossip on the town and it's not confirmed yet um, I think they might end up in a relationship because I think they'll both want to legitimize it and be like, yeah. but it's real love, you know, and we've seen that happen in other cheating situations. And then they get married and they're like, we hate each other, but everyone hates us more. So we'll just stay together for a little bit. So I feel like they might do that. But I think you're right, Lori. The thing with Rachel is she's not strong enough. Jax was, I would say he was strong, but he could be a villain because his ego and stuff he was just uh well these are talking about me you know and also he had the group that there was always members of the group even when he was in his villain era which was always he had members of the group that still stuck up for him still yeah. had his back yeah i don't think she's gonna find that who no. is going to have this is this is why women i know this sucks i hate that there's a lot of pressure on women i Normally, I never – I'm always like, blame the guy. He's the one in the relationship. The the other woman, don't – because, you know, you'll have – you know, I've been cheating on before, and my friends are like, you should call her. And it's like, no, she didn't owe me anything. I didn't know her. But in this situation, mm -hmm. yeah, she did know her. So it's a little different of a situation. But unfortunately, when you yeah. play that game and try to be the it girl with the guys, guess what? They will always, whether it's in the workplace, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in a friendship, if you throw other women under the bus – to gain the um, friendship or uh, popularity of men, you will always lose. Because in the end, those men have been conditioned to work together, play together. That's just part of how it is with the patriarchy. Yeah. Women are, you know, we're conditioned to be competitive against each other. Yeah. You will always lose. So that's why it's never a good idea to go after your friends or your loved ones who are women when it comes to men. Never pick a man over them because these men will pick them selves every time yeah and then this is going to happen i think like what you're saying with rachel she's going to be left in the dust because these dudes are going to be like oh yeah well did you have sex with her did you have sex with her okay now we're not picking her we don't care about her like that where the women you know ariana and sheena they really cared about her they weren't trying to bang her they just no. loved her they just took we're looking out for her they were looking out for her and they wanted her to be you know and and she threw that away and know. so you know, I think, um, yeah, I think my prediction, I, I, I could see the pregnancy. That's a really good prediction, 
-hmm. But I predict that I think that they will, if they don't flame out trying to like victimize themselves by throwing each other under the bus, they will try and date. And I think it will end pretty quickly, to be honest with you. I think it'll end either he'll, you know, she'll move on or he'll move on. And then, um, and then I think they'll just sort of, I don't think they'll ever really find, like, I think the only way, only way that either any of them really, in my opinion, and this is one of the reasons why it was so hard for me to start watching it. But then now I got sucked in is that I feel like in order for them to become truly like a hundred percent and really move on, they have to stop being on the show. And I don't think any of them can. So I think Tom, like Tom Tom's I don't think they're ever going to be, you know, monogamous ever again, or they're going to say they are, but they're just going to fall into their old patterns. And so, yeah. And so my only hope is that Rachel's able to get off the show and find something that makes her happy and, you know, grow up a little bit. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the hope. And her dad in Arizona, he wanted to take her out of there. So maybe he'll be able to, her family will be able to step in because word on the street is as well that they're like, you're drinking too much, you know, smoking too many blunts. No, not the blunts, but just drinking too much, making bad decisions. Um, And I I think you're right if she can step away because this obviously has been a toxic situation. Um, And just like Ariana's brother, Jeremy Maddox, he put out or he was leaving comments in like dragging Tom Sandoval in his midlife crisis and saying that he wouldn't wish this group of people in this environment on anyone because it's so toxic, you know, because he was a part of it for a little bit. Um, And now he's seeing how it has uh, chewed up and spit out or tried to his sister. But luckily she's got, you know, the thing with Ariana, she never turned on the women in that way, you know? So yeah. even if she did kiss him in a pool or something, you know, uh, after Kristen cheated on him and they had their little quarrel, she always kept friendships with the women. Yeah. Um, you know, they fought and stuff, but she never full on did a Rachel. And so now she's yeah. protected in the womb. You want to be protected in the womb. Us women, yeah. we will pull you into our uterus and you can take a nap on my ovaries. But if you fuck me over. Yes. I'm yeah. I wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't menstruate on you if you were on fire. And on that yeah. note. Um... <laughs> and mind you, that would get out of fire real quick. All right. Yes. I don't know why firefighters aren't using that more. That would yes. get out of that would be Free that's leaders, a, yeah. you know. I put out go. many a fire with my menzies. All right. <laughs> menzies. Menzies. Um Lori uh, Roggenkamp, you are a delight, hilarious, so talented. Where can everyone find you and follow you and stalk you? Tell us. Uh so I'm available on Instagram. I'm available. Reach me out on Instagram. Uh reach me out. <laughs> reach me out. That's my, uh, that's how I say it. Uh, Les allergic to cat. So it's L E Z and then allergic to cat. Um, I just changed it. So, uh, uh, yeah, just, uh, uh, find me on that, uh, that, uh, Instagram and TikTok. And then I have a podcast with my friend Maria Felix, where we talk about women in true crime and folklore. It's called bloody podcast. We also have a Patreon um, and then I also do, uh, uh, shows with my friend, Joe Batansky owns afterthought media. They have a show called, uh, RuPaul's drag race recap podcast where they recap Ru- episodes of RuPaul- RuPaul's drag race. And I do, uh, uh, we recap a side show called Dragula, which is, uh, more of a horror themed, uh, I love that name. like, uh, yeah, it's great. It's by the Boule brothers and it's uh, available on shutter and, um, so it's called Hello Uglies is the show we we have that we recap that show. But I suggest everyone check it out because it's a great drag show. Um, the The first season is rough, but the the last season was pretty good. So, yeah, I uh, that's awesome. I so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, but Instagram, if you want to just kind of, you know, see my musings and stuff like that. So Yeah, that's it. Yes. Um, and Atherella, thank you so much. Dropped the link to Lori's Instagram. Oh, Les you. allergic to cat. Um, Renee says Dragula is trigger warning, but also amazing. Are, are you a listener? <laughs> no, I think Dragula is the drag competition show. So I think maybe he watched oh, okay. the show. Yeah, Got it's it. it's very trigger warning because they, they do uh uh uh, oh gosh, a, a brain freeze, but they have, they do a lot of gross stuff. There's a lot of like Got eating it. hair and stuff like that, which <gasps> is like, that is yeah. like one of my, uh, there's restaurants where I found hair and I just never go back. I haven't eaten Taco Bell since 2007. 
Yeah. Because a nachos bel grande with a wad of hair. Oh yeah. I ruined and... I ruined I ruined a wedding dinner. I ruined a whole <laughs> dinner because I found hair in my mashed potatoes and I was like, shit, <laughs> it's about to go down. <laughs> What's happening? I don't care about your nuptials. Who put the hair in the potatoes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was there. They were having their dance, and they gave me my mashed potatoes, and there's hair in the. And I was like, "Why is there hair in the mashed potatoes?" And <laughs> as I could just see it, like as the maid of honor and the yeah. best men are giving their speeches. You guys are beautiful, Lord. Excuse me, I'm a professional. Excuse me. There was hair in my mashed potatoes. And Nobody I don't know if you guys know this. Yeah, but nobody suggests that is this. a sacred thing. <laughs> Nobody's addressed this. All right. I'm so happy. Thank you for inviting me, John and Lola. Thank you for inviting me. But, you know, I'm just going to let you know your caterer was terrible. And that does not bode well for your marriage. Okay. So. And fuck your mashed potatoes. Okay. Yeah. Uh (laughs) And it wasn't my my hair. I know it wasn't my hair. All right. I know the color of my own hair. So. Oh, my God. They have to eat nails and get like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. They get, and they got to get tattoos. and Like. Yeah, it's it's crazy. They do a whole, they do a crazy amount of stuff. They eat like you know pig's blood and all sorts of stuff. So <laughs> For, is this is this Fear Factor? Is Joe Rogan a part? Of yes, Joe what? Rogan's in it. Joe, Joe Rogan's Drag Race. <laughs> Joe Rogan's Drag Race. It's his version of Drag Race. Um, wow. <laughs> it was just- which would just be Crystalia Theoban, yeah, that old just, guy who was the gatekeeper of the comedy store upstairs room. What's his yeah. name? He's like, hey, I got all the Italian stories. Oh, Joey, Joey like, Diaz? Yeah, yeah Joey, Joey Coco Diaz. I made a lady quit comedy. You took my dick. I was like, oh, my God. You guys are <laughs> awful people. <laughs> you guys are so very... like, He has the best stories all about how he makes women suck him off to perform. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> He, yeah, it, very pro- problematic. And then, uh, uh, yeah, but they do a drag, really nice drag show. So check it out. Check. Oh. No, it's not Joe. Joe, Joe Rogan's not so <laughs> with it. I don't want to put that on these people. Joe, Joe Rogan. Rogan. <laughs> yeah. You ever look back and you go like, man, I was a fan of his. And then you're like, Phew, okay. All right. <laughs> like So much has changed. Are you ever going to move to Austin and join that comedy scene? Oh, no, they wouldn't. Are you kidding me? I'm a fat lesbian. That's like their <laughs> kryptonite. <Let's... laughs> he starts melting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Like I met him one time at the Hollywood Improv and I like, I was like, hey, man, it's nice to see you. And he was like, oh, it's nice. To-. Like he was scared of me. Like he was like, <laughs> I don't Were know you taller than him? Oh, I think I was. He was sitting down, but it, he was like, huh. And I think, yeah, I think he was upset. If though you were asked, like if they were like, oh, hey, Lori, blah, blah, blah. They hit you up and they're like, hey, we'd love you to come on Joe Rogan's podcast. Would you do it? I mean, I would, but I would definitely be prepared for it to be like a scam or <laughs> like where they you were going to. convince gonna... you that lesbianism is caused by the acid your parents took in the. <laughs> Yeah, or where they would like they would hit me with a pie or something, and I'd be like, "All right, that makes sense." <laughs> like, or like what they did to um, what was what was that guy's name that uh had the Adam ruins everything show? Oh yeah, and yeah, they yeah. had him talking about like trans rights and stuff, and they're like, "Oh my god!" And then it was just a mess. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel no, like I, I would, yeah. I would say yes because hello, you get like so many followers. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I would be like, can we just talk about Big Brother, Housewife, something cool? Um, yeah, just move the conversation. I would say, yeah, I would say yes, and then just prepare myself for a four-hour conversation with Joe Rogan. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what would that even be like? It's just like it would Ooh. just be like, Whew, all right. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think women <laughs> I think women should be in sports. I don't <laughs> I, I I guess I don't know. Yeah, I think if you identify as a, oh okay nope let's just, nope, uh, nope. All right. Have you seen Luann Deliceps do her cabaret? Huh? huh? <laughs> oh, okay. All yeah. right. That's a sports. Um. But yeah, no, yeah. I, I think about that sometimes because I've had some friends that have since become or people that I started comedy with that have since become part of like the Joe Rogan crew and they have like all the followers now and I'm just like oh god I mean like I feel like I could talk to them for like a couple hours for a couple hundred thousand followers you know. Yeah, I mean, I I've think never talked cr- to him in my life, but no, I think. Well, like I said, I had a very, I had one reaction, one interaction. And he seemed very. <laughs> seemed yeah, very he was scared. like, oh! <laughs> oh. So. You, you opened with, "I'm allergic to cats." He goes, "Oh, she's safe. She's safe." Oh. And then you were like, "But I'm still a lesbian." And he was Thank like, ah! "No!" Ah! 
<laughs> no, I he Sorry. didn't have. But uh, yeah, I mean, I you know who knows? I mean, he could be a very nice guy. I one time I uh, uh, a friend of mine had met Jimmy Kimmel, and he was like, "Oh, he's a fucking asshole." And I was like, oh, that's sad. And then he came into the, when I was working at K-Rock, and he was extremely nice. And I was like. He was so, very nice. Yeah. That's, so I, Everyone's uh, own experience with people. Yeah. That's what's very interesting. Um, except for Ellen. Apparently everybody says. Oh, I've heard. She was one of my heroes. Which is heart. Oh, yeah. It was heartbreaking. Oh. I mean, I watched her failed sitcom that didn't work. <laughs> I watched that one. <laughs> that's how much of an Ellen fan I was. I watched the first one when I was a kid. And I was like. Oh, this is terrible. And then when she came out as a lesbian, I was like, for some reason, I'm really into this. And then <laughs> she had a couple of years later, had another sitcom where she played like a school counselor or something. And I made my family watch it. <laughs> like We have to keep this wonderful lesbian yeah. comedian employed. She, she deserves <laughs> to still be working. I know. I've still never met Ellen, but I have heard stories. But I think I'll just wait until if I ever meet her. Yeah. Yes. Well, I, I don't mean, know. I feel like it's like meeting Oprah. You know, it's just like you have people want so much of you, mm -hmm. and I think probably with Joe Rogan, it's like people want so much of you, and they want to have that connection, and it's just like, you know, you just don't have the time time sometimes to to. Yeah, you're not always to, in a yeah. good mood. I will say yeah. though, yeah, I've heard things about like this working for her and staff, and known a oh, couple I, of people that have worked there. I'm sure you do too. Um. Well, but, yeah. Let's not forget I mean, she did cross the picket line. I mean, she said she did it to support yeah. her people, but she did, you know, she did for sure cross the picket line. So, I mean, she's not like, you know, she's very much self-interested, you know. Well, and a lot of these people, we forget too, they've had money longer than they haven't. So they they forgot what being like a regular person was a long time ago. You know what yes. I mean? Like, yeah. it's, it's different, you know. And she they're got, in their own bubble. Yeah. yeah, they're in her own bubble. I mean, she hit it in her 20s. You know, back when comedy was like, you want a sitcom? You want a sitcom? There was like 12 comedians and they all got shows. Yes. And you performed on Johnny Carson and your life was made. And now you can have six Conan appearances and you're sharing a studio apartment in North Hollywood with a guy who has seven. And you're like, maybe we'll get another one and we can go tour at yeah. the monkey chuckle fuck hut in, you know, Iowa. No offense to Iowa, but, you know, somewhere that. Uh, yeah it's cold right now or something i don't know but not uh you know yeah it, it's crazy it's not the same now because it's like you can there's so many avenues it's good because comedians can create a lot of yeah um, and you don't have to go down to one path yeah yes yeah for sure there's not one johnny carson gatekeeper yeah but yeah kaylin thank you for the super chat sorry i may have missed this but weren't tom and james good for yeah Yes. What does James think about Tom Shaggin? He hates it. He said to go to a show and throw tomatoes. He goes, throw tomatoes, soft yeah. tomatoes at a show. And also you got to remember, uh, freaking Sandy Butt paid for James's engagement party and whole to do. Yeah, like $25,000. Right? Yeah, it was like yeah. 12 or 25 or 50. We don't know. But, uh, and I always think like, do you think he was the whole time wishing that was him? Because you know he wants to get married. You know he wants to be that guy. Yeah. Well, I see, I, to be honest with you, I think he wants to be that guy, but I don't think he is that guy. Mm -hmm. I don't think he is. Because he doesn't know how to be loyal, obviously, or honest. No. So you're not ready for a marriage. But I think he always, I'm fine, I'm fine that, you know, she said, that I'm just not interested in that. I just, she even you know, before the season started, did an interview saying, I just don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a wedding. I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars. I just don't want that piece of yeah. paper. Yeah. And I don't think he was ever okay with that. I think he took that as a slight to him, but he wanted to pretend he was so cool and so down, but he never really was. Never. So. Yeah. He's got an ego on him. He's got an ego. Um, Lori, will you come back and talk to me? Maybe even of course. I, might, I might bug you this week because there's going to be more oh, stuff popping off. I'm definitely down. Yeah. I missed talking to you. I mean, yeah. it's just like it's hilarious and I enjoy you so much. So thank you. Um, and thank you guys for uh, listening and enjoying in the chat. We were over 500 strong for a while. Hopefully the likes reflect that. I think we got almost 300 likes or something. So keep liking, comment after this video post, let us know your thoughts. I like to interact with you guys in the comments. If you wanna consider joining my Patreon, I have a link for that in the description or um, 
my YouTube membership. Otherwise, I am going to link uh, Lori's Instagram and also the Bloody Podcast and all the places that you can find her in the description of this video as well. And I will be back tomorrow night with Shauna Christmas. Do you know Shauna, Lori? I Stand feel like, Shana? Name, yeah, her name sounds familiar. Yeah. You guys have done, I think, show. I think I've seen you on a flyer together, but I feel like everybody, you know, um, yeah. we cover Potomac. So Ooh, uh, part nice. three. do you watch Potomac ever? I haven't watched, uh, to be honest with you, I haven't really watched Potomac, but my fiance was saying that, that, that it's, it's getting crazy this year. So I was like, oh, I should watch it. So, oh, and I was making content for that. And then all of a sudden this pops off and I was like, sorry, Mia, you're old news. Now I got to move on to this. <laughs> so there you go. You guys have been great in the chat. And yes, uh, Lori and Jolene, comedy goddesses. Um, you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. We'll be back very soon with some more updates on this craziness because Scandival is not over. I'm going to hit my outro, but stay backstage, Laura. I want to say uh, goodbye to you after we end this live. Sure. Um, but you guys, remember to enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. Bye. Bye.